in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Hold our hands together. Spirit of the Lord, you are here in our midst. Let's hold hands everywhere, inside and outside. Let's just connect as we pray in the Spirit. Make sure you are praying. Are you praying? Those online, connect, connect and pray. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your grace. Thank you. Jesus, we bless you. Manda kaparo sada bakote shega debele debos. Shaka te para kata frata kata para taba kasa da brada kata kata para kata pras kada baluts. Shepros kabau shata rakota sabredish kalabari ada bagos. Jesus, we exalt you. The healer, the liverer. Zebros kaparo shata kurianda kata pras kada balada bos. The captain of our salvation, the one who can turn anything around. We bless you. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. holy. Holy, 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 is the Lord, is the Lord, God Almighty. The Lord God Almighty, my life is full, my life is full, my life is full, and the people say, Oh. And the people say, Holy, Holy, Holy. And the people say, Holy, Holy. It's the Lord, He's the Lord. My life is full of your glory. My life is full of your glory. Prophesy to yourself. My life is full of your wonders. My life is full, yeah. My life is full of your glory. 
my life is full full of your wisdom my life is full of your Holy Spirit we declare tonight that you have absolute unrestrained access to our spirits to our minds and to our bodies for you are the one given to us by Jesus to help us understand the kingdom to help us understand his power to help us understand the majesty and the realities of the spirit we thank you we honor your presence we honor your wisdom Lord I pray that tonight you will open us up again to the mysteries of the kingdom may we encounter your power may we encounter your light turn us into signs and wonders do this and bring glory to the father in the name of jesus christ hallelujah please keep standing first corinthians chapter four just two verses and then we'll sit down first corinthians chapter four paul made a statement he said let a man so account of us as the ministers of christ number one and then he calls the stewards custodians a steward is one who has been trusted with something there are men that the bible calls stewards of the mysteries of god stewards like i give you a bible i say please hold it for me and every time they are looking for that bible they make reference to you because you have been made a steward in matthew 25 he made other stewards of his financial resources is that true so the bible says let a man please keep it there let a man so account of us as of the ministers of christ but then much more than that that we are stewards of the mysteries of god verse 2 says moreover it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful faithful in what faithful in communicating those mysteries moreover it is required that if at any point by the grace of god you are made a steward of any dimension of the mysteries of god your assignment among other things is faithfulness to make sure that you continually communicate those mysteries until the people that god has committed to your care rise to the reality you see stewards are dispensers the, the whole idea is not for them to keep it it is that it flows to the people it's just that by the election of grace they are the communicators of this reality stewards of the mysteries of god not stewards of preaching brothers and sisters let me tell you the truth with all humility there are preachers but there are stewards of the mysteries of god are we together you know that a dimension of god was allocated to certain personalities and the bible encourages them to be faithful on bending ensuring that people enter that dimension i like you to open your mouth and cry to god in one minute and say lord the dimension of the mystery that has been committed i receive it i receive it i receive it are we praying lord we thank you and we accept with all humility the privilege of being stewards of the mysteries stewards of the mysteries the secrets of god hallelujah please sit down good evening everybody We're in for a serious time tonight. Just smile at someone close to you and say good evening. Are we together? Praise the Lord. It's always my joy to bring the word of the Lord. I remain faithful to this task. See, grants grace in Jesus' name. 
I just want to specially appreciate Honorable. Honestly, it was a big surprise. God bless you, sir. Praise the Lord. All the way from Adamawa State through Abuja, and he gave us a big surprise. God bless you, sir. Thank you. John Terry from Adamawa State House of Assembly. God bless you, sir. The Lord honor you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In this kingdom, we rise not just by desire, but how much light we have accessed and engaged. Not only accessed. I used to say accessed alone, but I found out that was not very accurate. We rise in this kingdom not just by how much light is available, but how much light we have accessed and engaged. You can access it, meaning you are not in ignorance of his operation, but not engage it. You will not see anything. We rise in this kingdom, brothers and sisters, on the strength of the light, the illumination, the precepts of the kingdom that we have both accessed and engaged. Accessing it is a product of humility and desperate pursuit. But engaging it is the product of faith. Accessing the word is not faith. It gives you potential to manifest faith until you begin to engage the word. I've said it that faith is simply a product of understanding, obedience, and courage. Understanding. You cannot act upon what you do not understand sustainably. Obedience. The ability to do to the latter and the courage to stay there regardless of the temporary results that you see are we together so may i remind us again that desire is not enough to rise in the kingdom i desire to encounter the anointing wonderful but that in itself will never expose you to dimensions of the anointing i desire to encounter the spirit of revelation wonderful but that will not bring you into those dimensions. I desire to walk in kingdom wealth and prosperity. Wonderful. But that will not bring it that way. I desire to live long. I desire to live strong. I desire to be a leader. I desire to be great. Our society is full of desire. That's wonderful. It's a good starting point. Except for the fact that desire alone will not amount to anything. People desire to be anointed. They desire to be blessed. They desire to receive miracles. They desire deliverance. They desire healing. But they stop at the level of desire and then believe that that's all they need to do. No. Desire sponsors the appetite and the fortitude for pursuit. When there is desire, you will defy every excuse. You will defy every consequence and pursue your pursuit gives you access your desire gives you the inner strength the tenacity the staying power to pursue information pursue light pursue an encounter are we together then if and when you have that encounter you have access to it now the next thing is to put your understanding to work to engage that truth you know the engaging part is where I truly believe that the church of the Lord Jesus Christ has failed very well. I have said it again and again that I don't believe the church of God is in ignorance necessarily. By the grace of God, the servants of God scattered around Nigeria, Africa and the world have done well, commendably well. In being faithful dispensers of the mysteries of the kingdom are we together yes we give that credit to all the pastors the prophets the apostles the teachers and all the people who have contributed in supplying dimensions to the body of Christ bridging the ignorance that is in the body but the results have not been very significant because we have stopped at the level of access and we believe that the moment you find truth automatically it should produce result no sir no sir truth must be engaged engaged to produce 
this mic has great potential to amplify my voice so that people can hear both within this vicinity and then through the power of the internet across the nations of the world but until this device is engaged accordingly not engage as you wish there is a pattern engage accordingly then it releases the full strength of it i can drop this mic and shout and there is a mic that is capable of amplifying my voice but i can turn and live a very very hard life i have access to the mic but i have not engaged it accordingly is that true so please let us deliver ourselves from this this um, is a combination of pride and folly that sweeps across the body of Christ that because we have accumulated a compendium of a lot of knowledge it automatically means that our lives will be a reflection no sir accumulation of spiritual information does not produce result it is the supply of the grace and the advantage of that grace that you take to engage to engage Engaging is very important. To engage means to put the, the word of God to work. You engage it and stay there. Then it is at the point of engaging the word that God's integrity is committed. There are many people when you teach on tithing, they will help you finish the message. But they don't engage it. They don't do it. They do it occasionally. How about those who do not engage the power of speaking the word in faith how many people know about the mystery of a dance the mystery of praise how many people really do it is that true it is the doing that's why when an evangelist finishes preaching it doesn't say now that you have listened to me you are going to heaven you can be in that crusade ground and go to hell you can even be part of the organizer and still go to hell at the end of it he gives room for engaging are you here and you want to give your heart to the lord and then people come out it is only those who come out that we pray for we bless everybody but we pray for those who come out as a sign that the message has touched them they have understood and they have responded in Acts chapter 4 the Bible says that Paul and um, Peter and, and, and John they were on their way to the temple and whilst they passed the beautiful gate the Bible says they saw a man that had been crippled from birth there at the gate asking for arms and the bible says that he requested that they helped him you know like beggars would do and then peter looked at him and said silver and gold i do not have any but such as i have i give unto you in the name of jesus he said rise up and walk access but the man was there the bible never said he got up then the bible says peter help me pastor alpha peter held his hands and forced him to engage you see it is at the point of obedience that the power is released not when the word just comes this is the dynamics of results until the word of god is engaged with faith and understanding the word of god is as barren as whatever it is so the bible says he held his hands and while he motioned on him to rest you see that at that point the bible says he leaping stood that guy would have remained there and the apostles would have gone the power of god hovering around how about god genesis chapter one the bible says there was darkness from the hebrew word to who darkness confusion and then the bible says the spirit of god the very force that is responsible for results and creation was hovering around but no change happened until god said and god acted he engaged and said let there be light be light appear reappear and then there was that and he said it and he saw it believers are largely not in ignorance so while we seek to open the body of christ to greater frontiers of revelation i am very concerned about our engaging the ones we know already because the truth of the matter is that if we commit ourselves diligently our life should begin to command certain levels of notable results you see the bible talks about a certain group of people it says they are ever learning is god blessing us already 
ever learning meaning that they have an appetite and that's supposed to be a good thing an appetite to explore let's go deeper wonderful let's go higher wonderful but the question is what do you do with all the conferences and conventions and meetings and sunday services wednesday prayer meetings many believers receive prophecies they receive words they study the bible they read books they have volumes and volumes of jottings access but they do not engage and so at the end of it, they are disappointed, they are angry at themselves and at God. And they are almost tempted to say, Lord, your word did not work. And God says, no, 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 let's be fair. Show me what you did. From January till now, how many times did you tithe? Say, Lord, let's not talk about that one. Just did you bless me or not? And God says, look at it. Lord, you didn't heal me from the pain. And God said, did you do what was told to do? The day an instruction was given to celebrate and praise. When the Bible says rejoice in the Lord, how many times did you commit yourself to obeying it? Rejoicing not just as what you want to do, but as a key to your breakthrough. Are we together? Engaging the word. Let me tell you something. The Bible says the kingdom of God, that you have to become like a child. Do you know why? Um... In our civilized 21st century society where we are so right conscious we don't want anybody violating on anything I, I, you know don't violate me i'm a citizen i'm intelligent i went to school we are so right conscious it's very difficult for us to submit ourselves to the simplicity of the truth of god's word are we together now the word of god declares this is what must be done to receive this outcome we argue we explain intellectually. We bring all kinds of even spiritual and theological dissertations to explain away the simplicity. And God says, well, I'm not the one in need. You are the one who is looking for the solution. Look how difficult we make it to get the anointing. Look how difficult we make it to be prosperous. Look how difficult we make it to rise. Look how difficult we make it to get the power of God. Let me tell you the truth. The difficulty is that I think sometimes we preachers do not show people where to engage the word. We dispense the word. But at the end of it, we do not leave our sermons with the action points. The very point. And that's where members don't like. That's why we like prophecies a lot. Because it's an extension of our desire to refuse to act upon the word most members hate it when you commit to them and say okay i have shown you this is now how you engage and they say no no can't you just, what is prophesy this thing and let me move forward i don't know how many people i counsel and i tell them oh apostle this is what is going on this is this and that and i tell them okay uh, go to the media stand pick one or two messages listen to it and come back i see how they turn and greet somebody and just move around and highest they check around and see um if there is an opportunity for a joke and they you know believers were spiritually lazy not because we don't fast and we don't pray but that point of engaging the word one of the greatest blessings of the life and the ministry of bishop david oyedeko in my life is that among other things his nature of dispensing the word is such that he shows you what to do good master the rich man said what must i do to be saved he wasn't saying can i save myself lord i know that it is within your character to partner with men where is my own part of the deal we hate this talk and you know the western world may god bless them we have received so much from them but i think that this this error of allowing god to do everything to show his sovereign claiming that and whether we add anything to it or not it cannot be done no brothers and sisters listen the bible says the heavens even the heaven of heavens is the lord it says but the earth has he given to the sons of men there will always be a cooperation a partnership between god and men for anything serious to happen god is still sovereign but he has chosen to limit himself so that men can also be reflectors of his glory
please learn this if anything is to change in your life it is not all up to god there is a part where you have access to light and then engage that light access to it and you engage it not access alone we have done pretty well in understanding it so as i dispense these truths by the grace of god alongside all the men and women of god scattered in this nation and around the world please i like us to make a commitment that we will not only be hearers will not only be receivers in terms of just hearing it into our ears but that we will always search for the areas that will require our own partnership your partnership with the word of god does not negate what god has done your partnership with the word of god is what makes it your experience until you partner with the word of god it remains a prophecy or a promise it is your engaging the word that converts every promise to your testimony to your experience right from the foundations of the earth the lamb has been slain but the day you hand over your life to jesus that's the day salvation becomes your experience is that true the bible says by his stripes we are healed but the day you hear the word you receive it and engage appropriately the bible says again and again that the lord gives men power to prosper but this is not our experience for many of us in the body of christ the day we are willing to not only receive the precept but sustain the grace you see this is the, this is the true idea of grace i told you grace is like love grace has love has depth height that's how grace is there is a dimension of god's grace that is his unmerited favor or unmerited access that means god kept that dimension exclusive to himself because there is absolutely nothing any man can do for instance the grace that saves men are we together now there is nothing a man can do by his own strength to save himself you can only partner but there is a dimension of grace that is an empowerment to do you will do the doing it's just that the energy is not yours now this is the dimension of the grace of god that the body of christ has not understood so he empowers you with a capacity that is more than what you ordinary would do then he will grant you grace so he supplies that grace are we together now yes if i prophesy to pastor alpha now i am operating i am doing the speaking it is willing he's not opening my mouth i'm opening my mouth by myself but i am communicating an intelligence that is not given to mere men that intelligence you call it the gift of the spirit you call it the prophetic is what the bible calls grace the power to do the power to do bless you sir are we together if we begin to pay attention to engaging the things we already know brothers and sisters i submit to you that our lives will be a thousand times better than it is in every wise the problem truly speaking is not ignorance i told you again and again and i'll continue to say it i do not believe the body of christ as a corporate entity is in ignorance there are still greater lands to conquer in the spirit there are still deeper dimensions that god will open us but you see the system of god is he studies what you have done with what he has given you first and that qualifies you to receive more the parable of the five two and one talent the bible says that when he granted unto them stewardship the one with five talents engaged correct the one with two talents engaged the one with one talent just buried it and left it there when the master came for accountability he said well um you were a hard man you like reaping where you don't sow so i i just thought instead of wasting my time i kept it on the guy can go and remove your thing collect your thing the bible says they collected it from that man and gave it to the one with five talents so you see increase is a product of doing something with the grace and the dimension god has given you a pastor who will not pastor two members or ten members with all his heart and bless them and sits down pasting pictures of a million members is joking and dreaming a man of god who will not engage diligently god gives you 
10,000 naira. You mismanage it carelessly. You do not find out the principles of God. There's nothing in it for God. There is no system of accountability and wise use of it. You can't sit down and be mesmerizing on 1 million, 10 million. God does not work like that. Are we together? How about anointings? There are men of God who admire their whole assignment is more power. And God says, calm down. The grace I've given you is enough to save souls. Even if it can't heal sick bodies now. Show how you have engaged that grace enough to be able to open you up to other access. And say, Lord, what is salvation? Anybody can do it. Then God grants you the grace for intercession. And he said, Lord, that one is too hard. I need power, direct, raw power to just prophesy or lay hands. And God says, no, it will never work that way. Never work that way. God is revealing to us as simple as what I'm sharing is. God is showing us the reason why the issues of our lives don't change. It's not because the word of God has failed. It is because we seldom engage the word. We complain we receive the word. Let me tell you what most of us do. You know, when, when people complain about certain areas, I ask them, have you listened to this, my teaching? Before I finish, they smile. And the person is not getting the result, and he will listen now. He says, ah, have you listened to um, 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 evidence of genuine intimacy? They help you finish it. <laughs> and you look at this guy, and you know that this guy doesn't know God for sure. Are we together now? Yes. Then you tell him, go and listen to it. And he plays around while he's just listening, distracted, doing a lot of things, gisting with friends, and then catching up. And then he tells you, sir, I just finished. There are, there are certain teachings, one hour teaching, but I finished them in three days. One hour teaching in three days. Because every five, five minutes, I'm stopping. Jesus, something just entered my spirit. I see I was studying something there and I almost jumped. I almost jumped from my bed. I said, yeah, yeah, what is this? He said, I've not read this Bible before. I had to look at it again. I found my Bible. Drilled the thing again. I don't know what I caught years ago that made me draw it, but that ink was already fading. I drew a fresh one to remind me that this is a fresh revelation. What? This is the Bible? Opened up another light for me. You finish a three hours message. You never pause <laughs> to listen, to learn. Even when something is very powerful, you are just saying, wow, just continue. Even the way you study in school, brothers and sisters, that's not how you do well. You pause. The psalmist will say, Sila, pause, ponder, think, write if need be, pray if need be. Hallelujah. If you don't like what I'm saying, forget about results. God is not a herbalist. Hallelujah. Yes. Look at the aspects of your life. You will see that there are certain areas you are in total ignorance. But you will see that there are certain areas you already have the requisite knowledge. Truthfully speaking. You already know what to do. And the grace has been supplied. But that spiritual nature, that laziness to comply accordingly and stay until results manifest, that's what causes a lot of trouble. What do you have in your house? Nothing except a cruise of oil. And the prophet said, that's it. Madam, this is what I want you to do. Go. Why didn't the prophet prophesy? Vessels, find your way to this poor woman's house. Say, madam, carry the energy you have left and go and borrow vessels he said borrow not a few when she came she met him and said sir i've done as you have said he said now you qualify for the next instruction close your door she would never receive the next instruction if she did not obey the last one is god speaking to us yeah and he said close the door when you close the door start engaging the oil the oil has capacity to give you any kind of miracle but when engaged, and the Bible says she kept pouring and the kept multiplying. How about the widow in Zarephath? When the prophet came, he said, woman, how are you? Fine, sir. Water, please. Ah, I don't have much, but I'm a generous woman. And just bake the remaining bread for me. He said, we're about to eat with my son to die. He said, madam, 
I'm, I'm here not because I'm hungry. I'm here so that you will survive. So just handle this treasure is in earthen vessels. You better quickly come and feed me first. The woman would have said, you are such a heartless and stupid man. You are the prophet they've been talking about. You are a wicked man. I would make sure I tell all those who have, you are, ah, ah, you see me as a child. You don't even love women. And start another funny women movement and say, look, there are prophets who don't, they collect things from women. And the Bible says that she, her engaging that thing, all of a sudden she turned and discovered that the flower. I'm showing you how this works. How about three days? They spent three days on the mountain. And then the people said, these guys are hungry. There will be commotion here now. And Jesus said, feed them. Say, ah, feed them. Even a year's worth of food. No miracle could happen until there, there was something from men. And Andrew found a young boy and carried his bread, his, his lunchbox as they call it. And all of a sudden, Jesus lifted it and gave thanks and there was multiplication. Who taught you that things happen by themselves? It is the dynamics of the workings in terms of God's part that is none of your business. The Bible says just as you do not know the way bones are formed in the womb of her that is with child, nor the way of the wind. That's how you cannot tell the work of God. There is a part of this equation that you can never know. It is sponsored by the wisdom of God. For instance, how your destiny helper will come is not your business. Your own is to engage what brings them. Your destiny helper can be a donkey. A donkey needs to be missing for you to find Samuel. Doesn't matter. You think if God asks Saul to choose how he will receive the anointing, will he choose the, the disappearance of a donkey? Leave the acting to God. Your own is obey to the latter. And then you will watch God use anything to act that drama until you receive the anointing. Let me tell you where spiritual fatigue comes. When we want to know how the details. How will I pay my rent? Lord, I know you are faithful, but let's... Let's be honest here. And God is saying me. You are telling me to be honest. <laughs> Do you believe what I'm saying? Yes. So we don't engage the word at all. At all. Master, if it be thou, bid me come. And Jesus said, really? You want to see a new dimension? I've given you a word. Engage it. Come. All of them stood and said, oh yeah. He didn't say, Peter, come. He just said, come. Whoever walked. He said, come. And all of a sudden, Peter got up and walked. And it was, it, it was surprising Peter. I'm walking. And he was laughing. And all of a sudden, he was about sinking. Many people see the sinking part. They don't see the part that Jesus stopped him from sinking. Because he had to be responsible over his word. Peter's mistake at the point of obedience had to be addressed by Jesus himself. If Peter sank, Jesus would be to blame. After all, Jesus knew he was learning. He said, come. Obey him and perish. And watch whether you will perish. Listen, learn this. I'm teaching you how faith works. Peter. He held him and said, no. If you walked on your own, like Jonah, Jonah was not helped because he was in disobedience. So the whale swallowed him. What bailed Jonah out was mercy. Are we together? These are the systems of the kingdom. This is how it works. Guys, go and preach in my name. Heal the sick. Cast out devils. And Jesus, ah, Jesus, won't you go with us? Say, no, no, no. Just go. I've given you my name. Say, where is it? Say, just believe. Keep going. And when they met the first sick person, um, my name is, uh, you saw me with that other guy. He really sent us. I'm not really sure about this. I've not mastered it, but I hope you are not offended if I prayed for you. And Peter laid hands on someone. And all of a sudden, to his shock, Peter said, this thing is working. Let's do it again. 
they returned back to Jesus and said, Hi! Jesus, even the devils that we fear so much were subject to us in thy name. And Jesus said, that those are little issues. Let's talk about, don't rejoice because of that. Be honest with yourself tonight. Is it really that God has not been faithful or you have not engaged the word? You have been told that prayer and fasting are keys for true revival and spiritual power. Be honest with yourself. Have you engaged it with understanding? Don't sit down and say, God is not anointing me. What do you think? The anointing is not a charm. You eat anything, anywhere, anyhow, anytime. No, sir. No, sir. How about breakthrough? There are many of us that want breakthrough. You hear people, the fact that God is doing it to one person. that per, You see, do you know why we allow testimonies? The most important part of testimonies is not the result. It's the bridge between the problem and the solution. What did the person do? That's what your spirit should be sensitive about. For many of us, we wait till the end of it. Then we say, wow, you mean it? This is how I live my life. I don't sit down and tell God, Lord, create the changes. I say, no, Lord, I know. I give you all the praise. Show me my own part. And I stand up and start engaging it. Start engaging it. Start engaging it. What of our family members? Oh, God, will you keep watching us like this? And God says, no. Listen to Joshua Selman. Oh, God, I don't have the time. I'm, like I was saying, will you keep changing our lives and God says you are violating an ordinance it's not going to change husband is standing wife is standing children are standing devil is destroying that family and wrecking their lives they are arguing with one another and not interested in change and God says listen when it comes to this thing you can't help yourself it is by a prophet that the Lord brought them out of Egypt. And by a prophet, they were preserved. Even if you are a midwife, when you are about to give birth, you need another midwife to help you. That you are a midwife does not mean you can deliver yourself. Listen to this and understand. There are systems in the kingdom. A time comes when your personal anointing cannot give you the breakthrough you are looking for. Is God helping us? So, so many people arrogantly sit down and say, what is there? Is it not man of God? Man? Is it not the same Jesus that died for us? And they sit down there and their problems continue to compound and multiply. Whereas there is enough grace to trivialize that problem and reduce 10 years of problems in a moment. How long? Please help me. How long? Listen. I think it was in it was in Mina over the weekend we were preaching for um, Bishop. It was it was such a an awesome time with him and uh, Bishop Achaya. And I was sharing there. I said every anointing, listen to me. Every challenge has the level of anointing that can address it. That you are anointed is not generic in results. The anointing is levels. When your challenges are higher than your level of anointing or the level of anointing close to you, you're already in trouble. There are three ways to come out of that thing. Grow in the anointing to a level where it can surmount it or trust God for access to personalities whose price in the spirit has granted them access to the level of grace that can throw away that problem. Brothers and sisters, in my little life, I've had the privilege of seeing what the anointing of the spirit how it can rubbish a situation that is within the level the jurisdiction of that anointing to solve it almost in a moment in a twinkling of an eye and that challenge is gone but i've also seen how frustrated an anointed man can be in the face of a challenge that is higher than your level of anointing it will rubbish you as if you have never met god believe what i'm teaching you if the mysteries of the kingdom are not engaged, this family now will get up and say, okay, we have read in the Bible. And let me tell you what happens. They begin to pray. At least it's a starting point. While they pray, the Holy Ghost will take the mother or the father to a scripture 
and said, study the life of Saul of Kish. Do everything they did. And so they start studying. A donkey was missing. We, for us, an animal was not missing. Let me show you how the, the Holy Spirit helps people. What is missing? Joy, peace, love, breakthrough, finances, spiritual upliftment. What did they do? They started moving around and a servant said, let's go and meet a man of God. And the Holy Spirit says, go and do likewise. And they stand up and the Holy Spirit now tells them, look, there is a miracle service coming. You see, the word of God is becoming alive. You are acting. You can sit down at home and say, God has brought it. He said we should go for the miracle service and then give all kinds of flimsy excuses. It is raining. I'm not very happy. I didn't eat well. We were not joyful yesterday. Those things are the ways demon spirits keep people. But when you stand up as you are walking to come, heaven is recording your obedience and already scheduling the system for your miracle. Now, while you are coming, you are not even sure you will meet me, but you are coming anyway. While you are coming, you are not even sure you will have space, but you are coming anyway. Are you seeing how this thing works? You come anyway and you sit down. And to your greatest shock, it was never for you to meet me. While the praise and worship is on, fire lands on your situation. And all of a sudden, you see someone calling you repeated calls and you have to avoid it. After Konya or whatever program, you just go and check and someone is calling you and saying, sir, remember we were supposed to strike a deal and it didn't work. I, my spirit was moving me and you say, God, this is you. Let me show you how breakthrough happens. Breakthrough is worked. It's like the working of miracles. You know how you cook food. You don't drop onions, pepper, fish, whatever it is you drop on the table and just shout and say, food, cook. No, you walk it. How do you walk it? You get a pot, firewood or whatever you are using. You start engaging. Sometimes it will be painful. As you are cutting something, knife can cut you. But you are more interested in the food than that temporary pain. It's by eating the food, the pain will be healed. So continue. And at the end of it, you have a lovely meal. And everybody who comes around wonders. Brothers and sisters, it is true that God gave grace, but you worked it. Are we together? This part of engaging the word is what I want. I want to drum it into our spirits. Nothing will change in your life just because you are a Christian. The word of God must be engaged. Hallelujah sacrifices praise several things you must engage the word of god there are some of us here you have never sown a seed i'm not saying to me please don't get what i'm saying but you have never most of us is 95 percent receiving five percent giving you will be broke forever that's the equation of poor people are we together yes give me your own is to collect lord who is going to give me and the lord says when are you going to create your own harvest have you not heard that if the cloud be full of rain if you use a spoon to spend to send vapor to the air you will spend your whole life there are other people who don't allow challenges to last they walk it till it gives up they walk it till it gives up I believe in results. I am motivated by results. I'm very, very outspoken about results. I'm not one of those people who lie to you and say it doesn't matter. It matters, sir. Results matter. Human beings were designed to remain motivated when what you engage produces. Is that true? Yes. When a woman gets pregnant, we are happy for her pregnancy. And we can endure everything that the pregnancy carries provided there will be a child at the end. Is that true? Yes. When somebody, like the people sharing now, the lady that was sharing about the rigor that she went through, you know, now the most important thing is that finally, the result is cleared and all of that. When you do things, the pain is when you put so much energy and time and then it does not yield results. This is what I want to cancel from our life. Hallelujah. Breakthroughs are predictable. Hmm. 
The help of God is predictable. The mercy of God is predictable. Results are predictable. Please, my brother, my sister, let me beg us in the name of Jesus to not sit down and hope things change. I'm delivering you from it because after 10 years, it will remain like that until it changes. There are people who, as of January this year, wrote down a list of certain things. They submitted it and asked questions. Lord, how do I engage with you? And right now, God has ticked those things with results. There are others, all they do, every miracle service is, God arise for me, they drop it. Every instruction God gave from January till now, they have not done one. Lift up your hands, they won't lift up. Pray, they won't pray. Celebrate God, dance around in all these things. How can I be a child? We left these things. Am I in a party? You see that? I told you about dancing. I don't like dancing, it's not anything I admire at all. But it's a it's a key. You know how drugs are, how you swallow drugs. Sometimes when you swallow drugs, especially maybe a syrup, it can be so bitter. Especially when you are giving children. They are trying to deny, but your love keeps them there. Swallow it. When they swallow it, you pamper them later on. Swallow it. Do you pity the child? Say, oh yeah, I'll leave you like that. No. That's how it is. When you are obeying God, don't pity yourself. Oh. No, sir. Don't pity yourself. Abraham carried Isaac and said, up we go. When he kept looking at Isaac, Isaac, I love you, but this one. See, be careful some of us get too emotionally connected to every area of our lives that is difficult for us to get to the next level you are emotionally connected to your money you are emotionally connected to your title you are emotionally connected to whatever that's why it is difficult for us to give up things to go high you are emotionally connected to your ministry my ministry The word of God works. It is reliable. This is how God has helped us by his mercy to be where we are today. And this is how he will help us to rise. But the key is that we engage the word. The key is that we engage the word. We don't sit down and make God responsible for everything and laugh around and fool ourselves. That's not faith. That's not faith. You must take inventory of your life. You'll be surprised to know that this is not even my message this night. I just came and this thing started boiling in my spirit. God is my witness whom I serve. That I am passionate about seeing every one of us produce results. See, let me tell you. If you are a man of God and you are the only one rising. You are, you are a big failure. Doesn't matter what you, whether it's car, house, no. I rather fail as a person and you succeed. Your success will turn me into a success. You see that? Let me be honest with you in all sincerity. Some of the things I teach you, God has helped me in those areas. So it's not like I'm teaching with any interest for myself. I'm hearing a song in my spirit. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us again. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us. Hallelujah. Lord, I want to become a public speaker. You dropped it here. You have not engaged the word. You found a scripture, but you have not done anything with it. Lord, I want to become a man of God. And the only thing you are thinking about is starting a church. You know, sometimes, I, sometimes the way, the way we pastors behave is why we keep struggling forever. 
brothers and sisters if you have eight days to cut a tree use seven days sharpening the knife use seven solid days stand in the sun and sharpen the knife i promise you you will hit that tree once and it will fall but you can carry a blunt knife axe and even if they give you 90 days the tree will not fall hallelujah don't jump into things take out quality time to engage this thing engage this thing god is calling let me use you promise come god is calling promise into ministry for instance go and start a ministry in delta or start a ministry in u.s and then the only thing he does is just says wow i i have learned enough you just jump and go to delta and after five years you are still roaming around as if god didn't call you in that five years those who engage the world are swimming in grace whereas you are there frustrating the grace of god after 10 years you now leave it and say you want to go and join military or police they say your age has passed you now say you want to join something else and your life and you blame god and god says no you refuse to engage the world i told you time never changes anything it only reveals time reveals whether you have been engaging properly or you have been wasting your time but god calls this guy now and he sits down lord what kind of ministry are you giving me oh this is this and he's studying he's learning he's building how do we do church finances in a way that you don't play pranks on people he's learning how do we build membership when members cross 500 how do you manage them you are learning how do i grow in the anointing when i have three to five sermons to preach every week how do i manage it with my family life what if i have a business running how do i manage it this gentleman works on himself i tell you he gets up and in one year start a ministry and all the forces that should be there are there everything done whereas another person is struggling and angry now this is anger is usually a product of frustration when you try to do things and you are angry and someone comes and it becomes effortless you see one of the proof of mastery is how effortless you are when you when you execute your plans effortlessly how are you doing it and people begin to coin explanations I don't want to live a life of a failure I don't want to number one it does not glorify God number two is going to waste my time number three there are many people connected to me in the spirit and my failure is going to affect them and destroy them and tear their lives into pieces one of my greatest fears if I have any is to walk and to walk with God for a long time and then to find that the things are believed I lie that's why I'm meticulous about the construction of my beliefs Lord what I believe about finances is it accurate what I believe about the anointing is it accurate what I believe about fasting and prayer is it accurate I'm not ashamed though if at any point I find out there is a problem I'm not ashamed I, okay Lord let's look at this this is what I used to believe but now I'm seeing I'm learning this Wow amazing I'm growing and you are just let me tell you something there are many anointings to lift our family members but it is at the mercy of their engaging they only complain and insult they insult every anointing that can bring them breakthrough and they sit down and hope and wish they will learn you will be surprised and i don't mean to be sarcastic you'll be surprised to know how many people live within this vicinity who have never received of what god is doing it will be shocking and surprising are you hearing what i'm saying now the trouble is you are the one who is the patient who cries the patient or the hospital please talk to me when the patient insults the hospital, does the hospital have tears? The hospital will, will be busy treating those who are ready. 
Is that true? Lord, I don't want to live my life as a failure. Results can be commanded. This thing has been done before. I'm not asking you where you grew up, whether it's in your village or whatever. I'm not asking what has happened in your life. Brothers and sisters, this anointing we talk about is God's own ability. But are we willing to engage it to produce the required result? Do it honorably and fail. And the Lord will do for you what he did for Peter. He held his hand and lifted him. This is how God brought some of us, my brother, my sister. It's not as if anybody signed and gave any guarantee and said, start ministry if you need money, we'll support you. Start ministry if you need members. No, 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 no. Engaging by faith. When people see the results, they trivialize it. Sometimes people just talk all kinds of things, but then they do not know that these things were engaged. Access is not enough. The word, the truth, the mystery, the principle, the revelation must be engaged. It must be engaged. It must be engaged. There is a part you have to play. Play it and watch God. Watch God arise for you. As a mighty God and turn things around for you. Hallelujah. Do you believe what I'm sharing with you? This thing does not take time. It just takes commitment. If I'm building a house, listen, and I have workers building a house for me and they are working, they start working by six and by night. There are those who do night shift and are working. Is that true? And there is another lazy builder. The workers come by 10, they close by two. Whose house will be built first? You see that now? The amount of commitment you give to this thing determines the result it will deliver to you. There is no way around it. I watch our fathers of faith and I'm surprised that with the kind of results they command, you still see them engaging this thing. They are working it with all their heart. I was watching... A video by Dr. Paul Enenche, and um, I'm saying this only because he said it. He was preaching this year at um, Bill Winston's ministry, and the Lord's Garden, the magnificent structure that they are building around the airport road in Abuja. And he said, just for the the zinc alone, just to cover that place, they are spending 16 million US dollars zinc not building 16 million u.s dollars in a time of recession debt free now only a fool and a stupid person 16 million dollars will more than answer the request of many ministries times 10 and this is what is used for zincing so a wise person says this is the result i'm looking for it is on earth already happening in someone's life so what do you do you follow them who through faith and patience what did he engage because he was not born like that as at 1999 god servant dr paul and nature was in one room in abuja there were people who were in the houses they are still there today because they didn't engage anything as at 99 he was there with his wife in one room and all of a sudden rises to do something there are people still there today brothers and sisters if your life must change it's not up to god alone God's power is available. I have indoctrinated myself into being a responsible believer that nothing will ever change just like that. Hallelujah. What are you doing in partnership with the word of God? Do you understand the principle and the mystery that connects your challenge or your desire and the outcome? Do you understand? Then if yes, are you engaging completely? The future will show the mysteries and the things that Koinonia is engaging. It's, it's, not, it's not something to blow trumpet and talk about now. But the future will tell what is being engaged today. 
You see that? Something I do not know is responsible for where I am. Something I know but have not believed is also responsible for where I am. Something I have believed but have not acted upon consistently is responsible for where I am. While you are seated, can you pray, cry to God and say, Lord, I repent. I've been handing over the responsibility of my results entirely to you. But now I have heard you. I have seen it very clearly that nothing will change by itself. Are you praying? Some of you are looking at others. Forget about them and cry for your destiny. Apostle, I graduated since five years ago. Nothing has happened in my life. Show me what you are engaging first. Let me see what you have done. I thought I would have a job. Who told you you would have a job? Just like that? Show me the mystery you engage and the mystery you are engaging. Keep praying. Show me what you are engaging. Apostle, I expected that by now I should not be begging for food to feed my family. Show me what you are engaging. Or are you just waiting for things to happen? Show me. Apostle, I expected by now that my ministry should be strong enough financially. Show me what you are engaging. Let me see it. Apostle, I expected that by now I should be flowing at certain levels of the prophetic, certain levels of the anointing. Show me what you are engaging. Sir, I expect that I should be established by now. I should have had a car and a house. Show me what you are engaging. Don't just wish for nothing. I've been coming to church. That's not enough. What have you engaged? Pray. Nothing will ever change, my brother, my sister. Access to truth is not enough. It must be engaged though. Access to truth is not enough. Apostle, I've listened to all your messages on favor. Wonderful. Have you done what was said in the message? Consistently. Have you done what was said in the message? Having the readiness to judge every disobedience if and only when your obedience is complete. Let's not turn God to a game player playing pranks and, and, and expect strange results. Pray. You don't commit 30 minutes to God, 30 minutes of your life, the remaining part of your life and you want to carry fire which god are we talking about here prayer zero word life zero passion and hunger for spiritual things zero and you want to carry the anointing no sir no sir no sir no sir show me the time you commit to study show me the time you commit to sacrificing your sleep show me how you engage with the word show me the videos you watch show me the retreats the times alone that you spend with god and i can tell you why your result is the way it is it's not magic it's not magic it's not magic it's not magic hallelujah listen to me you know let me say this honestly there are many men of god who see ministries that god has blessed with crowds like this and they do not know the enormous responsibility of pastoring thousands of people they think all about standing here sometimes you see me stand here let me confess and tell you truly most of the time i stand here most times i'm waiting on god is when i go back that i eat something there are times that the water you see me take here is the first thing that is entering my stomach as I stand. I'm not saying that's what you must do. After service, you see me stand here to see people. Sometimes past 12. Last week, I went home to one. Don't one crowd if you cannot engage what is going to be there. 
Are we together now? We want things without the responsibility attached to it. You, before you barely rest, someone has woken you. There is a challenge. You, when I came, you saw me talking on phone and I called the protocol because they needed to respond to an emergency somewhere. The people don't care that there is service. Listen, let me tell you, for every dimension, there is a price. I, I wish, I don't know how to make you believe this thing. If you are unwilling to pay the price, please forget about the dimension. There are levels of anointing that when it comes to your life, the moment certain things are not done, it will destroy you. It's better for it to have not come. Believe what I'm telling you. Jonah, Jonah, Jonah entered a boat and people, they started losing things. And when they were checking, they said, what is making this boat heavy? Jonah said, I'm the one who, if I were not anointed, I would have slept quietly. But because of what I carried, you are suffering for something now. There are levels to not pray for when you are not ready for certain sacrifices. Oh God, open my eyes. Are you ready to pray for everything you see? Because you will see things that will disturb you. You are about to rest and you see a plane crash. You are about to rest and you see a car crashing somebody. And if it happens that way, God will call you and say, if your eyes were closed, you are free. But hence you cried and said, open my eyes. It's not about prophesying, you know, there is a responsibility. Oh God, make me rich. Let me be your distributor. And God stands and says, as you are leaving your house now, carry 50,000. My people are in need of it. Yes, sir. Ha. Oh God, you said you want to be my steward. Oh yeah, carry it. And somebody comes and while you are talking, he says, give 5,000 to Sam. There are two little children. Give all of them one 1,000. And you are acting like a fool. And God says, that's how my distribution system works. The day you are not interested, I close the heavens. It's as simple as that. I see a lot of greedy people admiring blessed people and think that there are people for over two months. Your offering is 10 naira or one year, 10 years. You drink is five for life. How much is five for life? And then you squeeze as an adult working class. You come to church with 10, 20 naira and drop it. And say, but what are these young people doing? Are you joking? Brothers and sisters, let me submit to you. If you ever try to sow seeds like me, it may kill you in one month. I'm telling you this sincerely. Lord, make me a millionaire. He says, are you ready to sponsor 70 children? He said, no, no, I don't want that. Oh God, you gave me only two. He says, that's it. Whoever wants it my way must be ready to do my bidding. Hallelujah, time the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, time the glory. Revive us. Is God speaking to us tonight? Stop claiming things blindly when there is no sincerity. Oh God, give me a Give me an international anointing. Okay? Do you have the grace to counsel, to preach three, five times a week? Can you be sleeping on the road? Can you be sleeping in the air? That becomes your new bedroom. Can you sacrifice that much? It's not all about putting water and clapping. It's a sacrifice. Let me tell you this. And I stand before the God of heaven. Thank God he's here. You are spiritual people. Less than 15% of my prayers is for myself. God is my witness. Less than 15% for myself. Father, bless your people. Change their story. A text message comes. Sometimes you don't see me reply your text message. It doesn't mean I don't pray over it. Do you have the sacrifice? Can people come to your house and you carry your last meal and give them everything and then they don't tell you thank you and God said it's none of your business leave the issue is between me and you please listen to me oh these are the engagings 
It's not just about honor. It's not just about sitting. I'm ready to be a man of God. Are you ready for the criticism? Everything about your life is an open book. Everybody criticizes everything. Can you sit down hearing people criticize you and still sleep sound? And get up in the morning. Some of you who are so sensitive. I think you stole my phone. How can I be the thief? And you are moving around. And you want to do ministry? You must be broken and you must be worked on by God. Is God speaking to us? This teaching is very sincere. Most of us see blessed people and just admire them. And I look at the greed that is in many people's lives. Greed. You can sit down. Somebody is saying, I've not eaten. There is 1,000 naira in your pocket. You say, go and meet apostle. Go and meet apostle. He, 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 he likes giving. Just talk to him and he will give you. And this is the person holding 1,000 naira. And you are saying, oh God, when will you visit me? And God, even scholarship you will not see. For where? Are we together? This is how this thing works. So, send 200 naira recharge card to your mother. You rejected it. Whereas somebody transferred 1,000 to you. And God says, take 200. He says, how many? And it's not like there is an important discussion. And God says, I'm watching your heart. You are not engaging this thing. Let me show us why we are really not getting results. Let's be honest with ourselves. Am I engaging the word? Cain got angry because of Abel's results. And God said, no, no. This is not about Abel. If you do what Abel did to the latter, will you not get his result? Hear me. It doesn't cost God to raise help for you. There is something we are not doing that is keeping the heavens closed. There is something a man of God is not doing. That's why his ministry is not growing. There is something a father, a mother, a brother, a sister is not doing. That's why we are perpetually in lack and suffering and penury. Every guy that comes to me lives in two weeks. Five guys have come. Sister, calm down. Could there be that there's something you are... No, no, no. There's nothing wrong with me. I just happen to have bad luck with stupid guys. Five of them stupid? That means something in you is attracting them. Because you draw your kind to yourself. The body of Christ likes passing blames. We blame witches. We blame pastors. We blame government. We blame our parents. Let me tell you, your miracle starts the day you get a chair. Or go behind one tree and sit down. I'm surprised seeing many gentlemen. Their lives are not moving. They are not doing anything. After Koinonia, you are just looking at any sister. Who can I now marry you? This one, that time is going. And there's nothing happening. You see what we are saying? A gentleman who will go and sit down with a biro and your Bible and a tape recorder. Shaka Lord, it can't be this way. The word of God is coming every day. Why is my life like this? I am 31. I am 35. I am 40. I'm seated. I, can, I have to beg for Gary. Lord, I love you. Something is wrong. And all of a sudden, you come there. Your friend is calling. Say, leave me alone. No, you better leave me alone. Say, is this your? Did you renew your DSTV? Say, don't near my house. You have been deceiving me for many years. And you sit down, and all of a sudden, the word of the Lord comes. This sitting down is what we don't do. We stand up, moving around. This hustling life, pillar to post. One thing is needful. Sit down first. Stand up as instructed. Don't move around just like that. It see the labor of the fool, the engaging of a fool, weary at every one of them because he doesn't know the road to the city. Not every action is profitable, it is the action that is done in obedience and through understanding. Apostle, I'm anointed, I'm surprised. I organize a meeting and nobody comes. 
there is something you need to know more about the anointing it's more than laying hands apostle people come to my church they receive miracles and go back that means there is something you need to know about leadership you have done well knowing about miracles but there is something you do not know about leadership please blast in tongues for one minute and say lord i'm tired of this level i'm tired of this level i'm tired of this level i'm tired of this dimension i'm tired of this face lift your voice and pray lord i know you are ever faithful pray i take responsibility tonight there is something i am not engaging adequately Hallelujah. Please sit down. The Lord has brought before us several keys, mysteries, secrets that are responsible for certain outcomes. Brothers and sisters, it's up to us. There are lazy people waiting for others to enjoy, to engage it, then they enjoy the benefit. You cannot sit down and be dependent forever. Our little children should be the ones waiting. But an adult, oh, you know that thing they say in house, Ale Baka Musamu. So while you are engaging, I'm resting. After all, you'll be too kind to leave me like that. Nah. The Bible says, right from the days of John the Baptist, even until now, the kingdom suffered violence. And the violent would take it by force. Someone who will say, No way, Lord, I will force what is my portion from the realm of the spirit life does not deliver anything to careless less as fair if it happens it happens no everybody who receives anything worthwhile are those who stand in life and force their own force it down this passive i know one day things will happen we are not angry enough that's why we have not broken the back of certain things in our life We are learning i've shared with you there are some of us the reason why we are not getting results in our lives is because we ignore god i've shared these principles you don't ignore god and prosper sir okay um i'm a businessman me i'm not into ministry ignore god and see ignore god and watch the devil rubbish your life Many business people don't honor God. They honor business. They honor men. But they don't honor God. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your path. How many people start working and they, they don't have time for God? Time for the house of God? No. Time for the things of God? I'm a bit busy. Lord, you know that I'm, I'm engaged. And God says, hey, you are engaged and then the devil comes to rubbish your life and your work one sickness arises and just destroys you somebody in your office looks at you and says let me see how you will rise to the next level and that's it. it is they that know their god that shall be strong and do exploits to the fierceness in today's world does not require guessing about god you must know god hallelujah i've said it humorously only God can tell the number of charms and shrines and herbal places that have my names on their altars. Only God knows the people who project me as I sleep to make sure I don't wake up. This man you see is here for a long time. Very long time.
Is that true? Yes. Some of us have refused. We have been drumming mental development. And we have refused. So we are mediocre where we are. It's amazing how when the word of God comes, people exempt themselves. Say, this part is not for me. This is the part for me. No. All scripture was inspired. How many? All scripture. God can be talking about mental development. And you can say, me, for me, I'm a man of prayer and fasting. Leave that one for um, um, mental development. All those who want to become professors and lecturers. For me, this is a vineyard. And you are there and you find out that because your mindset is thinking wrong, regardless of your results. L listen, being around the truth and not engaging it can destroy you. Because it will bring about familiarity. You are familiar with every man of God, every program, everything. Yet, it will not bless you. Those that were close to Jesus ran away. They were not getting anything. Nicodemus came and met him once in the night and received something that changed his life. Mental development. Mental development. Upgrading your mind. Expanding your capacity to be relevant in today's world and grants you the opportunity to glorify Christ. How about people who do not understand authority? This is the mystery they have not engaged. And that's why the devil whips them left, right, and center. Left, right, and center. They have no honor, no regard for anybody on earth. Some of our parents are like that. Like that. Just say, hey, so, so man has come to town. Which man? So why are people going to go and see him? What's the spell? You see, you see and, and they start debating it. And the person debating is poor and broke and sick and suffering. He does not know that it is for this cause. Many are weak. Many are sick. And many do sleep. He sits down there and a miracle is close to him. Sometimes in his neighborhood. And he hears Reinhard Bonke preaching and laughs. He says, ah, is that the wise man you were talking about? What is this one? He says, they said, Baba is about to pray for the sick. Well, I don't, don't mind those people. And his kind of case is what is being called. And they are being healed. And Reinhard Bonke will go back. And the proud man who does not understand authority sits down there. Look, the way we have cheated ourselves because of ignorance of the systems of God. Cheap victories that have been complicated through ignorance. Look at students here. You heard the testimony of one of our ladies last week. No school fees, no nothing. And the result comes out and you are graduated. Ha <laughs> ba. There are some of us where our lives are the way it is because there is no excellence to anything we do. We are born again, but everything is mediocre. Everything. Everything. Average mediocre. Local champions. I'm a tailor. Like who? Well, I'm, I'm here. I'm patching here and there. I, Lord, I need increase. And God says, increase your capacity. Be excellent. Be excellent. So that you can now start making clothes. When you make a millionaire's clothes, you get a millionaire's reward. When you make clothes for somebody who gives you 500 today, 200 tomorrow, 800 today to pay 3,000. And you are arguing as if, arguing and arguing and fight and forgive the person. But you still suffer. You get tired and say, Lord, I've started, I've left this level. I've challenged us towards being excellent. Hallelujah excellent some of us relationships this is the mystery we are not engaging we know it but we are not engaging it hallelujah relationships honorable is here um I, I don't mean to embarrass him but this man of god that you see forget that he's a politician i told you politicians are my friends i'm intentionally friends with politicians because whoever controls power controls what happens I'm not one of these, these foolish people that throw away politicians away. They are my friends. They are my friends. 
than my friends. Yes, they are my friends. Hallelujah. Jezebel wanted to destroy the people in the land of Elijah. The first thing she did was to marry the king. To make sure she was at the seat of governance. Then she now pushed her up and said, oh yeah, wait, I'm the one in charge. See that? A true apostolic grace must be able to minister the life and the power of God even at the level of governance. I went for movie crusade and honorable is here do you know brothers and sisters this man as great as he is with his status and all of this he came for the crusade with his wife stayed like two days together and returned back when i go to yola sometimes with his own car carries me in his own jeep and drives around praise the lord relationship if he calls me and says his wife is having a headache, you call me. There, there were calls. But let me show you how I will respond. Relationship. That's what brought Dorcas back to life. When Dorcas died, she was a woman who, while she said, I can't preach, but I can sew. Madam, you are cold. Let me make sweater for you. When she died, the widow said, no way. These wicked men, they are all preachers, but they don't take care of us. You better raise this woman back to life for our sake. Hallelujah. Tomorrow, if he becomes a governor, I'm still his friend. Is that true? Yes. Access. That's why when he comes like this, we honor him. What is all this? Everybody is equal before God. It is true based on your understanding. System that we do not know that destroys us and rubbishes our lives because we do not know. Are we together? Yes. Relationships. I told you the easiest way to rise in life is relationship everything money can pay for relationships can pay for it if you use money to pay for everything in life you are not wise there are things relationships should pay for you can't pay for the house but a relationship can give it to you i i spent time um the week before last to talk extensively on relationships i'm not going to go back but please listen to that message I can spend my time talking to you about relationship. That's what happened. John the Baptist had the privilege. His mother, listen, John the Baptist did not study what happened around his birth. When Mary received the prophecy of the angel, she knew it was a strange thing. She had to search for another woman who had a strange experience like her to be able to relate with her. And she found out she had the gist of elizabeth and how john came and when they met their babies left when john was born he was older than jesus six months of course at the wilderness there when he met jesus for a while he was walking with jesus but offense came in because some of jesus's disciples left and became his disciple and he left and then he now went trying to look for relevance he went and started lambasting herod because he did not know the protocol of the palace he thought that the palace is the same thing as the wilderness. The way you speak in the wilderness is not how you speak in the palace. There are principles, all preachers, that rubbish themselves in high places and they call it speaking for Christ. There is the wisdom and intelligence. When Paul was in the Jerusalem council with the Sanhedrin, he spoke as a Pharisee. He said, look, 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 look. I can speak as this and that, but look, now... There are Pharisees, Sadducees. Let me bring a point of divide. I'm speaking based on my authority. I'm a Pharisee. Spoke about the resurrection and that place caught fire. Relationships. Many of our parents today know too many people to be looking for house at their age. Is that true? They didn't raise anybody. They didn't lift anybody. 
all their friends are successful people they watch television and tell you this guy was my friend do you know that uh, general buhari was my classmate do you know this one was my classmate do you know that kofi annan we drank tea together oh god why have you not been uh, what has that relationship done for you this is why when we do things in church like turn to one another and give them a nice hug and you are frowning the this investment you are making now of rejecting people will be waiting for you in the future you will see the person you frowned at in power and glory and now you will not have the same access again it is cheaper now than later you've heard me say we will all be great but the greater part is that we will all know ourselves that's the most important part so that what i do not have a jimmy can give me at a platter of gold hardship because there is no relationship hardship because there is no relationship as a ministry by the grace of God God has helped us to enjoy certain privileges with people with institutions because of relationships what have you refused to engage that is punishing you and is destroying you what have you refused what do you know and have been wishing will work for you but you have not engaged it truly hallelujah it's one of the things i respect a lot about my dad my dad understands relationships in a strange way he knows almost anybody everywhere if he's a policeman he will scroll down there has to be one policeman he gave bag of rice some years before if it is prisons if it is customs if he's a carpenter even if he's a truck he does not have that stops he knows a mechanic somewhere he knows the one that fixes Peugeot he knows the ones that fixes these relationships now it's costly that's a very busy life but it's only busy until the day you need those people one call and they tell someone else yes sir but another you keep knocking forever and you say god help me god i helped you since you misuse the opportunity hallelujah praise the lord what have you been paying for that relationships would have paid if you engage them how long will you continue hating people and talking about them as though you are going to live in this world alone how long are you ready to continue holding grudges when will you forbear and excel there are ladies over my dead body my mother i will never talk to her but the blessing in your destiny is in the mouth of that woman justified she did something wrong but can you ignore everything so that you step into another dimension hallelujah I am passionate about engaging the word. I am passionate. I studied the life of Job because I want to be very prosperous. And I studied his life. I saw things that Job did. That if Job died poor, God would have been a wicked person. I found treasures. I said, ah, this is what Job did. Not the obvious things we see. There were things that Job did. What are you doing? Some of us, these are little children. They never look at you and smile. They look at you and they are afraid. You call them children. Remember, you are not going to die young. You have received the anointing for long life. The children you laugh at today, you are only 10 years older than them or 20 years or 30 years. They will soon grow and become adults too and occupy positions of influence. And you will see that a mistake you did 30 years ago will haunt you and your children and children's children. Is God giving us wisdom? These are, these are the systems that we, these are these are these are success systems. These are success systems. I'm I'm challenging us. This engaging part is what came in my spirit today to talk to us about. Engage the word. Engage the word. Engage the mysteries you know and stay there. Stay there till it produces. 
don't engage once and complain do you know there was a time in my life i did everything but there was no result everything to be done i cross-checked and it was correct once you have done everything leave god's part to him so when people are complaining and say apostle what am i missing i say you are not missing anything just stay there just like that yes sir stay there god is watching your growth and he knows that if those blessings come you don't have the spiritual capacity to take it yet so he keeps you and then overnight you wake up and step into a dramatic dimension of the anointing and they say where did he come from he's always been there waiting i've been sowing seeds continue it says not to be weary in well-doing for we will reap in due season there is a due season if you fail not if you fail the due season will come and pass and you will not see anything i will never stop sowing seeds i will sow like a madman until the day the harvest comes i will never stop engaging my passion for god i will never stop building capacity i will respect every man of god and every authority that is producing the results that i'm not producing never will i open my mouth to talk about somebody who is producing results that i'm not producing it's pride of the highest order no matter how simple and how cheap they sound they are engaging something that is producing my results i have a meeting next year and god has granted me the privilege and i'll have the privilege to be meeting with i think maybe for the first time in my life one of the billionaires in the world in nigerian i look forward to that meeting i'm preparing for it like i'm writing jam you say I, I, apostle for what this dishonor we carry is why we never rise if i sit down with a billionaire and he talks to me for five minutes i will go down my knees and say thank you sir because it will change my ignorant mind for god's sake and deliver me from the things that have pegged me and my lineage at certain levels i look forward to that meeting i've been praying and fasting about it i say lord this meeting cannot be once we have to be friends we have to be what yes because a friend sticks close to, than a brother his brother sister thing friends hallelujah i know we think it doesn't matter what i just said look at our lives look at our families are you not seeing the rules we have broken for ages god is faithful our lack of understanding his system is what is punishing us apostle why are you teaching all this so you can serve god let my people release them from this pain so that they will go and serve me i want they are for as long as they are working in the farms for as long as they are suffering in egypt they can't serve me say let my people go so that they will do what it is my desire to see some of our brothers a few years from now that when others get up in the morning and are running helter skelter you are there with your family you made a way that's the worship song playing when our backs were against the wall and it looked as if it was over you made a way and visitors come to your house discussing survival and you are discussing kingdom we have allocated 10 million to this ministry there is a mission agency we heard that these people are passionate about souls and they say are you a pastor he said no i'm just a brother in church i have been trained that my entire life is about the, the kingdom he said are you you, meet, you better stand up and make ends meet a luther continue i said no not in this house we have demarcated this house through understanding exempted forever from certain things someone comes to your house and say what's that noise i'm hearing say we have a vigil today so ah, which prophet is coming say no priesthood our house we have vigils so are you not aware that uh, you have to rush say, no, no 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 god is faithful god is faithful and you are praying and they say what are you praying for souls 
Ah, what about uh, what about ends to meet? Say, ah, God, God, as we settled that long ago. This is in this house. It is kingdom. Do you think this is possible? What I'm saying. You better believe it, otherwise you will be another angry person. This is what I want my life to be all about. Let no one deceive you that your whole life should be spent looking for money, then serving God small on the way. It's a cost. Did you hear what I said? It's a cost. You can live a happy life where you sit down and teach your children by yourself because you have time. Junior, come. Daddy is about to teach you how to tithe. Have your envelope. Have your own. You put your own one million dollars. The young boy put his own hundred dollars there. He's learning how to tie. Daddy, what do we do with this? Son, this is called the law of open heaven. Say after me. And he murmurs whatever he says, but he's learning. By the time that child is 10, he's a millionaire by himself without your influence. And one day he says, Daddy, I was sleeping and I had a voice. And the Lord told me to donate half of my wealth to a mission agency. He says, Son, do it fast. Because his father has understanding. Do it fast. Daddy, I thought I was going to become a doctor. But I had a voice in the night saying I'll be a great man of God. Don't worry, you are covered. Not this morning ceremony. Says, so you are going to the vineyard now. Who is the sponsor? No, that's, that's the mindset they carry about preachers. The moment you say you are preaching, people just look at you and they, they have a valedictory service for you into a life of pain. No, sir. Hallelujah. One day you get up and carry your family. Where are you going to? We are going for a Hillsong conference in Australia. You mean it? Yes. Yes, sir. We are going there and we are sitting down. He said, you mean this is how your whole life? He said, this is how it is, so. I don't know about you i so thank god i'm a man because you can design the life the way ladies don't feel bad just just pray that's that's it i will never spend my life bowing to the statue of nebuchadnezzar no sir no sir hmm. how can i call on your name and end up in shame no way no way how can i bow down before you and then bow down before a man no way because you are my god Men may not believe it. They think we are jokers. But you are my God. You are, you are, you are, you are. You are my God. Romans chapter 8 and verse 8. Take me round up. It says, for I record that the sufferings of this present time brothers and sisters i am not unaware of the pain you are going through i'm not a fool i know that there are constraints there are pains that you are going through but my bible greater than any constitution of any republic the bible says for i know i reckon that the sufferings of this present time is not worthy to be compared with the glory doxa that shall be revealed the weightiness of God in us in us the Bible says for the earnest expectation of your family of your lineage not just of creation listen some of you are listening to me and the devil is telling you don't mind that man it has never been done in your lineage go and study it and God says you are the one I'm raising on I'm raising you to make a spectacle to principalities and powers that causes can be subdued that yokes can be broken listen God is looking for men that he's looking for a generation he said this is the generation that seeks thee let me tell you there is a generation that will seek God as a vocation not now there are individuals 
there are churches but there will come a generation an age range where what they do is to seek god church services every day every day not just on sunday as one convention is finishing another one is starting and you can attend it because you have conquered the forces that keep men busy bowing down to the status of nebuchadnezzar what to eat what to wear that's what drives people to walk in the morning you are supposed to walk but the purpose is not just make your ends meet it's a revelation of the glory of the father disabuse your thinking from this servitude mentality god wants to raise us but it will happen by engaging his systems lift your voice and begin to pray lord i exempt myself i exempt myself Shaka -taka -taka -ta. I exempt myself. I exempt myself. I exempt myself. Through knowledge shall the just be delivered. There is a generation that will serve God. There is a generation that will seek the God of Jacob. Not seeking money. Not seeking power. We will conquer wealth. We will conquer all the things that distract men so that the only time that will be left is in advancing the course of the kingdom and improving the living of men pray listen i look forward to times where our doctors will set up hospitals that are 10 times the size of shika and everybody who comes half the price was already covered by a kingdom financier yes sir for a hospital not a church not a church you meet someone and there is a surgery happening that person is about dying because they don't have money here comes a kingdom financier what did you say is happening i love god and i love his creation too much please treat the person listen let me tell you this please don't ever think i'm just making noise this is prophecy it will happen you 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 may throw yourself out but it will happen hallelujah a time in the history of the church where there are men who walk to reveal the glory of god they are so blessed they don't discuss money again hallelujah i heard about the net worth of one very funny person like that and the thing pained me because i read an article about a church that was building their cathedral and the amount was so meager they borrowed loan from a bank and the bank was harassing them harassing the pastor they wrote all kinds of things and insulted the man and they said the man plunged into depression and died i think it was last week or week before last when i had that thing it pained me i said in the vision god showed this guy death was not part of it oh it was something that killed this man yet there is someone answering the kingdom of darkness and has more than 100 times what that church is praying for please don't tell me that is the will of god get up in the morning you are doing this job today you are doing this one tomorrow god calls you say sorry god i have to pay my child school fees no sir some of our parents may not have gotten it right we don't have to mock them but you have to stand and say lord for the sake of my children i will pay this price lift your voice and pray lord i pay the price if my father if my mother knew better they would do better but now that i know this oh god i will pay the price i will pay the price lift your voice i will pay the price no joking with my life i will pay the price i will pay the price lift your voice and pray engaging the systems of the kingdom not only believing them not only having access to them hallelujah hallelujah i like you to lift your voice and cry that the spirit of disobedience the spirit of spiritual laziness that does not 
allow you engage the word you just keep wishing no no sir no ma lift your voice and pray lord the grace to put the word to work lord i confess i've not been a faithful title pray i i stop playing games with my destiny tonight lord i confess my prayer life has gone down my word life has gone down lord i confess i'm not serious with my destiny as a gentleman god has called me into ministry but i'm not giving it the attention it requires they are admiring people fighting people gossiping and trying to make a name for myself i settle down with destiny 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 hallelujah listen let me give you a little assignment when you go back home tonight i want you to write specific goals things you are doing this issue of doing everything i'm on a mission to rising financially i'm on a mission to knowing god i'm on a mission to accessing the healing anointing don't just study randomly and move. no right things the lord is calling me into ministry and he told me the ministry is starting february next year but from now till february i am engaging this i need to know the mystery behind speed i need to know what keeps members you write it and sit down I've, I've not been faithful in tithing that means i've not had a revelation about it the issue is not just to carry money and start running the issue is to sit down and say this month i'm going to take a course i'm going to take a study on it who has written books in this area and you sit down who has done a very comprehensive balanced not hungry manipulative teaching on it and you study that's how you grow you carry your issue of concern put it before you close your eyes to every other thing until that mountain crumbles don't leave it that's how winners work but all this one of try today if it's too hard you turn this direction you will still meet it there stay there and win did you hear what I said stay there and win let me tell you in my little life i can tell you there is no mountain that is not surmountable it's a lie don't listen to anybody that talks to you like that is not your friend don't go near them again i want you to write a list of the mountains before you pray dance but sit down there's got to be a way there's got to be a way you read a book you check something there's got to be a way then you enjoy the beauty of triumph brothers and sisters triumph is sweet when you conquer your challenges you live as if satan does not exist there is such a realm it is my desire with all my heart among other things that god will bring not just this ministry he has helped in a measure not just me but every one of us not just to a level of spiritual awakening i i'm trusting god for an avalanche of do you know how you conquer poverty like you put it under your feet this is what god would do in this ministry and with people and you watch people serve god all this obsession for money that runs people to hell ladies marrying for money brothers doing this people living god for money all kinds of nonsense and we can focus on god then there will be prayer altars afresh that seek god for him not for what he can bring there will be men and women who can study there are some of you there are books locked up in your spirit for nations but suffering will not let those books come out because all you are thinking now is oh god let me just look for something to eat we depress ourselves and have high blood pressure to death whereas there is a way a noble way where you spend your life at the end of your life like david you say like like um paul you say i have fought the fight good fight i have finished my course you have poured yourself like a drink offering nothing left again are we together the last prayer point and we're done for this night i like you to cry and say god hold my hands 
and insist that i don't stop until i get to the des the place of destiny hold my hands i ask you to he held the hands of peter some of you in your in your in your in your quest to obey god you have seen things no dive in your life cry and say lord hold my hands hold my hands hold my hands oh god stop me from sinking and lift me up use my life as a spectacle to show what you can do with the anointing to show what you can do with influence to show what you can do with men and women who are passionate about agenda i will search for you and i will find you i will find you with all my heart i will lift my hands to you in worship and i will worship with all my i'm leading a generation to seek him lord we will search for you and we will find you we will find you with all our hearts we will lift our hands to you in worship and we will worship listen rounding up before i make the altar call listen to me i want to encourage hold on guys i want to encourage every brother here you are a brother when you go back home this night please please do this go and get a notebook sit down use this weekend please thank god there, there's there's holiday today tomorrow sunday even if it's one hour please just do what i'm asking you to do find somewhere alone everybody say alone not with your neighbor not group find somewhere alone whether it's one forest somewhere or outside near one tree one dam somewhere and just sit down with a notebook and a paper don't carry any book just go and stay there and say holy spirit i'm rededicating my destiny not my life to you you are the only one who can help me this ministry you are giving me this business this life this family is too much for me i am ready to receive your wisdom and you it will shock you what god will do for you in that retreat don't do it sitting in your room or your parlor no 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 find a place go somewhere if you see someone there find another corner somewhere one grass somewhere one uncompleted building of a school somewhere just hang around somewhere even if it's for one hour take a time of inventory the way i'm living my life am i going to make it are we together this is called self-supervision sit down the way i'm running my family are we going to rise this way the way i'm living my life am i going to be great this way the the time i am giving god will this time really birth his glory in me and then come up by the spirit with resolutions the lord will show you areas the lord will show you things ladies you can do it too i'm not saying it's, it's just for guys and then ladies lazy around this is everybody's destiny carry a notebook flog it out somewhere let me tell you the second thing i want you to do please hear me and don't be offended with what i'm telling you you have to search for the names and numbers of certain people and delete them out of your phone i repeat you have to search for the names comma and the numbers of certain people and do what delete them out of your phone i promise you being a friend of everybody will not give you your destiny are we together there are people who are not bad they are not demonic but they are too distracting to accommodate them their 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 distraction to your destiny is not worth it let them be the day you miss, you can always recall them but for now you are on a project some of you may need to trust god to get a place whether off or get a small room with somebody you, you just need pay whatever price it will take 
to allow you build this great destiny. Are we together? Yes. Some of you may need to minimize certain useless visitations. Visitations that don't make sense. From pillar to post, flying around. No. Some of you may need to minimize movies. I'm not saying movies are wrong. Don't, don't misunderstand me. But let me tell you, you are not going to spend your whole life watching movies and you make it in life. No, sir. Is that true? Some of us may need to minimize sleep. 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 Snore your way, time is going. But this is, Bible says, a little sleep, a little slumber. A little folding of the arm. Poverty comes upon you like an arm bandit. Some of us may need to minimize food. Please, I'm not saying starve yourself. Don't get me wrong. But I'm telling you, gluttony is killing some of us killing some of us some of us need to reduce your three phones to one the two are not doing anything they are distracting you distracting you some of you need to reduce the number of social media platforms except you are there maybe on business or something you are on every social media platform your phone is beeping per second per second some of us may need to off our phones that's what you need for that one two hours off it there is nothing that is too urgent of it and spend time with God. I want your heart. When we talk about Jesus Christ, many people frown their face as if you are speaking against civilization. The days that will come, please hear me, people of God. The days that will come will require outspoken, radical passion for Jesus. All this organized, civilized nonsense that makes God look secondary will be the recipe for the dominion of darkness over the life of people. Oh, I'm now 25 years. Don't, don't make me look like a child. I'm now 30 years. I hope you know I'm now the director of A and B and C nonsense. And that's the reason why you are. David danced before God. And his wife said, Habba king. And keep your dignity. And David looked at her and said, hold on. You don't even know the mystery of how you became my wife. If you know it, you will join me dancing. I was a little boy with no hope, no destiny. Did he read any book? I was a smelly shepherd in the wilderness. I danced my way beyond any king to get to the throne. And now because I am here, you carry your dignity. The Bible says God had him all and that woman died barren. It was not the devil that made her barren. Let my people go. Not that they may go around causing trouble and wasting time and just counting age and growing older let my people go that they may go and serve me this issue of living for jesus serving jesus no let bless him accepting him into your heart there are many people when you talk about genuine surrender not coming out to recite an altar call i make up my mind i am for jesus forever they laugh at you They laugh at you because it doesn't make sense to them they don't see the need why should I give my life to Jesus I want to be the God of my own self so you manage your life by yourself I want to be the God of my own self so you answer your prayer by yourself I want to be the God of my own self so you mismanage your life by yourself it says submit down to the mighty hand of God then resist the devil and he will flee you know i sincerely see a lot of people great men and women of god who want to walk in the anointing and i see the way they play games with submitting to the authority of christ you will never be trusted with certain dimensions of the anointing until god vets your passion you can't fake it there is a level of kingdom influence and power no it go to a harbor list you will still not get that dimension it takes your heart dead to christ not just living this one you have died to the purposes of the kingdom otherwise you cannot carry certain levels of grace no the kingdom has rules you you can fake it with men but not with god 
there is a dimension brothers and sisters where god vets your heart and sees that pastor femi will live and die for me i'm not it's not one leg in today and god is not sure what you will become in 2019 no Basanko 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 listen to me everyone inside outside the overflows along the road listen i want to make a serious altar call now everybody sit down and listen carefully let me tell you something brothers and sisters coming to surrender your heart to jesus is not an initiation into a religion called christianity no are we together now where you are switching founders from an idol worshiper you were worshiping stone are we together and now you say kai stone is not a better alternative so i come to another founder there are not 10 gods there is one god hear ye O israel the lord our god is one god i don't care who preaches what there is only one god the king eternal we can argue it but one day very soon the difference will be made clear there are people seated here listening to me i don't condemn you but brothers and sisters it's time to be serious with god shortly you're going to experience radical deliverances and healings and miracles but that is only useful when your heart is with god i don't care whether you have been a pastor for 10 years there are two altar calls i'm going to make in one right now please hear me carefully those following us online from any nation you're following just listen carefully you may not be able to run out but i want you to pay attention and participate number one there are people for you you have never made a genuine decision you have heard that people repent you have heard that people come to jesus you have even given them transport money but genuinely from your heart my father is a pastor that's not what i'm saying I grew up in a church you are joking you have to come genuinely we gave our lives to Christ it's not an inheritance of a family you come personally the other day they blessed all of us together you are not born again it has to be genuine personal and conscious when I was a baby they baptized me come and join them as soon as I made that altar call you come and join them are we together number two there are those who the war of passion and seriousness with god there is this fear of getting serious with god for some reason you think if i get serious with god my, i won't make it in life the moment i'm serious with god i won't get a nice husband uh, men these days don't like serious ladies who, who lie to you which men which one are you talking about the drunk are there the smoke are there or a genuine holy ghost born again visionary brother if i'm serious with god when it's time to chop in the office my conscience will not allow me chop that's a joke is it that god cannot bless you must you bribe to rise that's how everybody is doing it you are lying that's not how every that's how you know or you have been taught that everybody is doing it Elijah said, I'm the only one. God said, keep quiet. There are 7,000 others who have not bowed to bear. Please hear me. There are people here. God wants to visit your family, but there is no one in your family who is born again. And you will be the first tonight because God needs an access point to your family. The system of the kingdom is such that God must find a portal within a territory to manifest his purposes within that territory. If and when God does not find a man, his power is still limited there must be an individual 
through sacrifice and alignment who will be able to host the purposes of the kingdom within a sphere to allow the possibilities of God find expression so if God wants to come to your family he moves everywhere and everybody says I'm, I'm, I'm too busy he comes to your mother she says I'm too busy looking for money he comes to your father I'm too confused to give my life to you comes to your brother no I'm, I'm too I'm too I want to marry now God please go somewhere he comes to your sister I'm looking for men there's no time to look for God and God says I want to step into this family no one has given me space if God can find one person he, he needs to take it step by step when he finds you the prophetic implication of your relationship starts judging the powers of darkness one by one and before you know it someone starts having a strange dream in your family he lies down and he has a dream of rapture he won't share it but that dream will torture him till he thinks about it he will get up alone and you find out for the first time he didn't steal money again he saw angels he saw the white throne he doesn't need to know what it is his spirit has been designed to recognize spiritual things but tonight you must come genuinely to Jesus don't come out here if you are playing games it has let me tell you the implication of coming out here you must be ready to scatter and destroy wrong dangerous and ungodly relationships by the grace and the Spirit of God you just need the will the grace is what you receive here number two you must be ready and willing to be committed to the house of God to grow this dilly-dallying with God is the recipe for failure I'm too young to reject God the fierceness of life will destroy me if at my level in life I claim I'm too big for God before we continue tonight I'm going to count one to ten listen everyone heard me loud and clear overflow outside overflow along the road as I'm speaking to you the Holy Ghost is probing you those of you standing on the fence there I see you and the Lord is speaking to you online probably you are listening now or following from another nation of the world and you are saying but I'm far distance is no barrier it doesn't matter you are still on earth everyone on earth will be judged whether you are in London whether you are wherever I'm going to make this altar call now I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come to Jesus I know you will be healed young and old I don't care how long you have been you are saying Lord I'm tired of living my life the way I want I want to hand it genuinely inside outside start running one to ten one genuinely run like there's fire on the mountain two Three. So keep coming. Don't say there's no space. Even if you have to line up outside, no problem. This is your salvation with God greater than any miracle tonight. Just find somewhere to stand. If the place is full, keep lining up there, right outside. Five. Someone is still thinking about it and saying, Apostle, I'm a nice person. I've never done anything wrong. It's just that I've not declared Jesus. Join them by the self-righteousness of no man can he be saved you didn't do anything wrong but that very nature of darkness is resident upon you all of you who are standing here please don't look at anyone lift your voice in one minute and begin to talk to jesus everyone who is standing stretch right outside and those online talk to jesus right now and say jesus i come to you i come to you pray talk to him and everyone seated I expect you to be praying for someone's salvation you know everybody around you cannot be saved there is somebody somewhere 
still happen towards the things of God lift your voice and cry to Jesus Lord I'm saved but my father is not saved he's on his way to hellfire and I know it my mother is not saved I know today that if the trumpet sounds they are going to hell for sure I know my sister is not saved my husband is not saved my wife is not saved my colleague in office is not saved Lord I know that pastor is not saved he has a church but he's not saved pray cry your heart to Jesus he is here much miracle service you are meeting with the Savior he wants to reveal himself first as Savior before deliverer before healer hallelujah hallelujah all of you standing stretched to the outside please look at me I see you some of you are crying sincerely from your heart listen there is no man who has the power and authority to condemn you young and old I don't care what you have done I don't care how your life is we are all products of his mercy and grace are you hearing what I'm saying don't let any man point an accusing finger but then you cannot remain where you are there are people standing here and say man of God if you will lead me to pray I will I will love it I've been praying for an opportunity like this but there are powers always keeping me wherever you are inside outside don't mind who is looking at you lift your right hand to heaven and you're going to say this prayer after me please it is not a poem it is a genuine genuine prayer meaning from the depth of your heart it says I am not ashamed of the gospel why for it is the power of god unto salvation the lord wants to give you a new beginning i know you came to be healed but he wants to take over your destiny with your hands lifted to jesus who is here not in heaven right here in this place say after me passionately and sincerely say lord jesus i love you with all my heart this night I have heard your word and I make up my mind that from tonight and for the rest of my days I will live for you I will serve you without shame without fear without going back this night I hand over my life to you say it again I hand over my life to you be my Lord be my Savior I declare that the power of sin of Satan of the flesh is broken every association that is not of God I'm separated from them this night I declare that the joy of salvation and the peace and a new beginning is mine from today I am a child of God and I will live for him forever hallelujah keep your hands lifted Jesus look at the ones you died for when you hung upon that cross you saw them and today we are glad to present them to you this is why you put this meeting together we lift them up as trophies worthy trophies for your blood worthy trophies for your death and Lord I decree and declare that this ones you have brought tonight none will be lost I speak over your life the joy of salvation that very few people know about may it be your inheritance today I declare that the peace that surpasses all understanding let it be yours today I declare that every guilt the devil uses against you every accusation will roll it away right now in the name of Jesus I declare your sins forgiven by the message of God I declare that you have a new beginning with God 
you are empowered by the spirit to live a victorious life in the name of jesus christ amen and amen let's appreciate them keep standing everyone i'll give you some instructions now now there are so many of you probably hundreds of you this is what i want you to do um protocol please help coordinate let's do it this way those of you who are in the second overflow the overflow right from the door that leads to the road as you go out please let's have some of the ushers you stand so they can attend to you there what will happen is they are going to have your details i know you are all so many but we want your details we have a system to follow you up and to make sure you are grounded in god that's number one that's the first instruction so those outside those here at the overflow and those inside you may not need to go out just wait where you are and someone will come to attend to you please i hope the relevant departments are listening so that we can respond to them very quickly we have five ten minutes for this because i'll start praying for the sick now praise the lord now the second instruction i want to give all of you is this the bible says they that be planted in the house of god it says they shall flourish it is important not only for you to just get born again but to be planted in the house of god instruction number three is we have a system of spiritual growth here in koinonia it's a very large house so what we do is that anyone who gets born again automatically we transfer them to our prayer department for one month whether or not you will continue as a member in the prayer department the prayer department meets tuesdays 4 p.m just at the church uh, when you walk from this road right down rema chapel more information will be communicated to you and so we usually have all um, new converts to be part of the prayer department there you get to be filled with the holy spirit and you have seasons of prayer to build your spirit and it helps you to cultivate a culture of the word and also to have a kingdom community that supports your spiritual growth all these things are very important for your growth i don't want you to waste this experience praise the lord i bless you in the name of jesus and shortly the lord is going to be turning your life around in greater dimensions so let's do this very quickly appreciate them as they go just guide them whether or not you belong to any department you're a member of koinonia you see any of them moving just guide them as they go out quickly let's honor them koinonia as they do so is that the best you can do hallelujah Please coordinate them, coordinate them. Let's just give them some room so that they can go out and then we will shake off every power of darkness roaming around anybody's life. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone like you. Hey, I never see anyone like you. Where's Sam? Help me. I never see anyone like you. 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 I never see anyone everyone stand up let's pray some prayers before let's pray some prayers while they are working on the people everyone say after me in the name of Jesus please say be serious in the name of Jesus father tonight visit me this is my destiny Give me strange results. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Yeah. 
Visit me in the name of Jesus. Visit me. Step into my destiny. Step into my destiny. Step into my destiny. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Shout it again in the name of Jesus. Every long standing issue in my life and my destiny, I declare that you must give way tonight. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Long standing challenges. Are you praying tonight? Long standing issue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, if you can pair yourselves into two and pray this prayer. If you are holding a child or you are doing something, that's all right. Otherwise, find somebody, a serious neighbor, hold a hand. I want you to agree. Say, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the door for the next level of my life and that of my neighbor must be open now. Lift your voice and pray. Agree. If any two shall agree, as touching, believe in what you are saying, you are opening doors. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are still holding your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. Father, tonight, take away shame. Take away mockery from my life, my family, and my neighbor. Lift your voice and pray seriously. Roll away the reproach. Roll away the reproach of mockery. Roll away the reproach of shame. Roll away the reproach. Pray. Roll away the reproach. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Father, expose every force, every yoke, every spirit behind the tragedies in my life, in my destiny, and my family. Expose them tonight. Lift your voice and pray. For the light shines in darkness. Pray for the light shines in darkness. Let your light shine, O God. Oh, my God. 
Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your anointing, let your unction locate me tonight and turn my life around. Lift your voice and pray that the power of God must locate me. Change my destiny. Let your power pray. One encounter with the anointing of the Holy Ghost can wipe your tears, my brother, my sister. Pray. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like menorah. Light me, Lord. Listen, listen to me. I will just give you an instruction. Just help those under the anointing, but listen to me carefully, please, everyone. Do you know the reason why we minister deliverance? Listen, listen carefully. You have to understand this. The reason why we minister deliverance, you don't spend your whole life going through deliverance. However, there are lives, come my dear, when a spirit, listen carefully, when a spirit latches onto your life and destiny, brothers and sisters, let me tell you, I don't care what you do physically. Remember spiritual intelligence. You can be doing the right physical things, but the presence of a spirit representing an embargo, representing a covenant, an authorization for your doom will keep you down there and you find out that your life will never open up when people gather like this hear me they come with prayer requests they come with problems but you see behind those problems are spirits are we together now the spirits that are responsible for lack of favor the spirits that are responsible for a hard life the spirits that are responsible for infirmity all kinds of cases you know one of our dear people here in the ministry i prayed over the father's picture i've seen those kinds of cases on television and all of that but you could look at the leg and see the bone the bone the flesh had eaten to a point that you could see the bone what happened to the man he went to bed in the night brothers and sisters i think somebody did something for him in a dream and he woke up physically and his legs started eating up the bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness you want to move forward but there is an embargo the solution is not counseling you need an encounter with power everybody say power listen the power of the holy spirit is not a negotiator it's an enforcer 
when the power of god comes it does not ask you whether you want to be free your assignment is to be open till it reaches you when it comes it scatters anything that does not look like god lift your hands everyone just lift your hands and be silent i'll pray for you now the spirit of god is upon me lift your hands everyone there are people here right now i want you to bring there are the first sets of people who will come out ushers grace for you and protocol i know you have a lot of work today because there's such a crowd right to the road but i want to pray everyone please lift your hands the lord is speaking to me there are people right now in your silence hold on maybe just this the power of God will begin to come upon you what is happening right now before we pray for the sick is massive deliverance that deliverance is equal to breakthrough equal to new levels but lift your hands there are people here who are under strong yokes of delay and the Lord gives me an instruction we will just lift our hands and be silent that's all the instruction and inside and outside the Spirit of God will begin to locate them are we together when that happens then we'll take it off from there that's the first thing god wants to do tonight just lift your hands everyone thank you jesus the lord is asking me to stretch my hands and there are people and families and those following on online except you are not under the influence of the spirit of delay that spirit must leave you are we together so keep your hands lifted thank you jesus lord wherever they are right now i stretch my hands according to the instructions you have given me inside and outside right now i see the anointing of the spirit already falling over the spirit of delay keep your hands lifted bring them out outside there just the angels of the lord are walking i'm seeing like smoke just moving across lines line by line inside and outside when it comes to you when you are under that influence that's the end of it right now i command it the word of the lord is upon this prophecy in the name of jesus no instruments don't play anything outside there is massive deliverance happening separation from delays separation from delays bring them out thank you jesus delays you want to move forward but the spirit ties you down it's over right now no you can't dodge it you are under an atmosphere there is an influence the influence of the spirit line by line the holy ghost is moving row by row there is no faking it line by line lord every row every line every individual let no one in this category escape it for the sake of your mercy and your grace no matter where you are inside and outside online don't worry the spirit of god is moving one by one it must catch up with you the word of the lord is upon it bring them out young old destinies that have been delayed tonight there is serious grace for deliverance those of you lifting up your hands be sensitive be sensitive we're in a prophetic atmosphere right now bring them i see people outside Kai, my god 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 many people many people many people many people there's someone you are following from kenya you are watching from a laptop the anointing your hands are shaking the spirit of the lord is upon you judging every darkness tonight you will be located by god you prayed it you must be free please help the ushers if there are too if there are too few protocol join them different departments help them the lord really wants to set people free it's a year of triumph don't think these people are just coming out for show 
they represent breakthroughs these are the people who god wants to give testimonies darkness raging over the lives of people they came from different places how will god leave them that way right now all of you in front here i decree and declare to those spirits at the count of three let them go you know my voice one two three go 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 out of their lives now out now i command you by the influence of the spirit i decree and declare let their destinies go delay broken now hallelujah now lift your hands my god you'll be surprised at what will happen now everyone self tell me in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus the grace for open doors right now break every chain in my life keep your hands lifted watch it happen now that's the instruction god gave me that grace breaking chains now i'm speaking across the congregation i have been seeing this for weeks but locks opening in the realm of the spirit that's what the lord is showing me but locks opening, opening, opening right now. I open them. I'm under the shadow of your your influence is all over me I'm under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me I'm under the shadow Your influence is all over me lift your hands lift your hands fire is coming on 32 people and this fire that is coming upon them is to break family altars i hear family altars right now oh god in the name of jesus one two three i set those altars now on fire right now 32 people i see in the realm of the spirit i command it right now i command it everyone on this ground under the influence of any altar now be free now help them please help that lady be free now so right now be free now be free now your influence is all over me i'm under the shadow of your own everyone lift your hands say this after me in the name of jesus please say it seriously say in the name of jesus any spirit that has had access to my life and is causing destruction hear the word of the lord as i shout the name jesus i command you to live my life at the count of three shout jesus there will be an exiting of many strange spirits one two three shouting i command spirits you go now 
You go now. You go now. You go now. Inside and outside. Any spirit resident within any man's life, any woman's life, causing pain. Help me say. Hallelujah. Ushers, I pray for grace for you in Jesus' name. Because what I see now is not a nice scene. The Lord is asking me that we shout Jesus. There are people who are going to vomit physical things. That's why I said it's a messy scene. I, I apologize. We're very neat and organized people inside and outside. But in the name of Jesus right now, any stranger in your body at the count of three must go out now. One, two, three. I command every stranger. Go now. Every poison. Every devil. Causing sicknesses. Every fibroid. Every devil. Every enchantment. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a vision of a lady. If you're here, I want you to come out. I'm seeing your family doing something like a sacrifice, and they are giving somebody, everybody, a substance like a drink, something to take. They gave everybody, including you, and you took it. Where is that person? Please, if you're here, I want you to come out quickly. It's a, it's a highly diabolic thing they gave everybody. Where are you? Come. Your deliverance comes now. I'm under the shadow of your wings. Help me. Your influence is all upon me. Let's have another mic, please. Hold on. Stand up, my dear. Is this the lady? Two of them? Stand up. Where are you from? Look at me. Huh? Kogi State. What happened to you? Hold on. I converted. Hold on. I'm looking at you, Kai. This thing. You entered a covenant. Huh? Yes. With who? I don't know my mother i don't know they she brought somebody and you people entered the covenant and they gave you something hold my hands shout jesus, jesus. i command that covenant jesus. that demonic thing tying your life in this miracle service it lives now in the name of jesus you too where are you from i'm from kogi state you are from kogi state the same thing hold my hands look at me I command that devil to leave you now. Whatever yoke. Please don't come out if I don't call your case. Are you part of them, Mr. Man? Young man, you're part of them. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. Bring the, you, are, you two. Come, make sure that, so that we don't get the place rowdy. Be delivered now. Help her. Out! Be free now. Out! I'm interested in this lady. Please, stand up, my dear, if you can. This lady's whole family is in bondage. Whole family. The entire family. Nothing is working in your family. The Lord wants to deliver you right now. Hold my hands. I command that spirit. Your time is up. Leave this family now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I break the yoke over your life now. Out! Now! There is a lady you have been coughing blood where are you you are coughing literally and blood is coming out there is a lady like that please where are you let's hurry up we have a lot to do this night the lord is asking me to minister to a lady 
that coughs and then blood you cough blood who is that inside outside except you are under the anointing please come out quickly i want to pray for that person now where are you how long hold on just just keep up where's the mic how long you you are an usher you how long three weeks eh? three weeks. for three weeks you've been caught lay your hand on your chest you too lay your hands on your chest you too huh substance your what hold on please guys hold on yours is what the substance you spoke about what substance lift your hands lift your hands lift both of them i'm seeing an angel pouring something on your hand your hand will start shaking and then the lord is bringing you strange deliverance it will start from your hands down to your body i place the word of god upon your life right now in the name of jesus christ both of you look at me both of you cough out blood in the name of jesus i lay my hands upon you it ends now in the name of jesus out right now there are spirits responsible for this kind do you know what i just saw the lord opened my eyes and i saw like a cage and in the cage i saw snakes that's all i'm seeing that's all i'm seeing lift your hands everybody the lord is just asking me to wave my hands over the congregation there are people who represent that oppression it will leave now the lord is asking me to wave my hands lord as you have said i see snakes in cages whose destiny is that right now whose destiny is that i wave my hands in the name of jesus please release them for your glory release them now help them please jesus christ inside outside be out of that cage now i see snakes serpents some of you see them in your dreams they must go now they are leaving you now now they are leaving you now i command liberty 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 hallelujah i'm hearing a name jane jane like j-a-n-e jane 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 i'm also hearing another name victory is it victory like victory victory please don't come out if that's not your name what's your name jane your name is victory where are you from delta state delta state i have to pray for you your family is being seriously oppressed why are you people here you are all jane jane your name is victory i want to pray for you kaza chat kaza chat is it kaza chat who is that kaza chat i'm hearing that name that's that's like a kaduna name kaza chat please who is that the breakthrough of your family has come kaza chat is it i don't know why god is going to kaduna now nom is it nom shoe or nom shoe or something like that i don't know if there's a name like that nom nom shoe or something like that nom something. listen that is your name you are why are they here i call their names i'm going to lay hands on you except for you i don't even know why the rest of you are but please i want you to believe the moment I lay my hands on you, something will happen. The Lord is saying I should start with you. Lord, open her door now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands. Reproach leaves your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Reproach leaves your life now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Reproach leaves your life now. Reproach leaves your life now. Hold my hands. Call your parents and tell them the Lord is giving them breakthrough. Your family, your entire family, Delta State, breakthrough right now. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on. The serious witchcraft over your life. Hold my hands. Lord, the Lord is asking me to walk with you. This is how your destiny is opening up. That's what the Lord is asking me to do. Walk with you. To walk with you. Something is happening. It's a prophetic act. You will not help her to walk with you. Opens in the name of Jesus. Your destiny opens up now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands. This girl, lift your hands where you are. I'm seeing wind around you. And the Lord is that wind is going anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. And the Lord said his restoration. I stretch my hands upon you right now. I release that grace for restoration. Restoration. There are seven other people who will tap from this anointing. This same anointing right now. Seven. Seven. Right now. The anointing for restoration is coming upon them. Receive it right now wherever you are. Zabata kata la kata frate kese brende gatai. Lekate pras kata baratu shubre diara. Hallelujah. I'm seeing one mama outside. It's like you came here with your daughter or something. I'm seeing a woman sit down with her daughter outside. Now that's all I'm giving about you. Please, if you can find that woman and if you understand what I've said, I want you to run and come. I want to pray for the sick now, but God is delivering people. God is delivering people. Seth. Seth. Who is Seth? S-E-T-H. S-E-T-H. Your name is Seth. 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 The Lord is stepping into his life right now. Seth. Is there someone with that name? Seth. Have you found the mama I'm talking about? Don't worry. Let them come. Let them come doesn't matter with your daughter mama Kai. there is the spirit of death on your family I'm going to pray for you don't be afraid I'm not a prophet of doom you came from where mama I came from Edo State from Edo State Living you live in Wusasa, yes. but you came from Edo State. Yes. I must pray for you. There, why is he here? Who is this gentleman? Set. You too. You are an usher. Okay. Kai, this is not the set I'm seeing. No, I will pray for you, but I'm seeing someone else. Eh? Please don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for somebody now. Huh? Because I'm seeing an accident killing you, and you took what's the name of this thing they take? We we and you were high, you were about to cross the road, and then I'm seeing a truck with the name Angote on it, just running and killing you. There is somebody here, you smoke. Please don't be there's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's not like you are not a serious person, but this thing you started taking it from when you were small, and it's destroying your life. You want to be free. But you can't leave it. Please don't be ashamed. Come out now. Quickly, please. If you are still thinking about it, remain on your seat. Some you have to be free now. Come out. I'm seeing one. You wore jeans dress. Like your shirt. I don't know if it's your shirt, it's jeans. Who is that? No, no. There, there's another. Come out. I will pray for you. This this is not the only guy. Just keep them here. I will pray for him. I'm seeing another person outside the second overflow. You are standing on the road. The Spirit of God is speaking to you. Speaking to you. This thing they roll and they smoke. And then you even, I'm seeing you swallowing a drug. I don't know what drug is that. Please come out. Come out. Clap for them as they come out. Join them quickly and come. Whether I mention your case or not. You are involved in any kind of liquor and addiction. Indian hem, whatever, forward march. Come here, your salvation. Come, sir. Please appreciate them. Clap for them. Some of them are not bad people. It's a spirit. 
Don't be ashamed. Please usher and direct them so that they come here. I'm seeing up to five ladies in this group. Up to five ladies. Come. Don't be ashamed. Don't let anyone laugh at you. Please, this is a miracle service. Join them. We, we, Codeine, whatever it is, join them. Whether you know the name of what you are smoking or swallowing or not, come and join them. Please, quickly, that addiction must be broken now. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Keep coming. The devil is a liar. Who can stand against our king? No one can. No one Hallelujah. I'm seeing a very small boy. Very small boy. Very small boy. We're supposed to join them. Young man, please hold on. Please, if the parents of the boy are here, don't flog him. Please. This is a very small boy. You will not even know that this boy is wise to smoke this thing. He saw an elderly person smoking it. Come out. There is a small boy here. I know what. Drag him out. Come. Where is the boy? come out please gentlemen i'm going to pray for you don't worry you are not bad people i'm seeing a number of ladies up to five ladies they are refusing to come out there's nothing to be embarrassed jesus christ wants to set you free this is a miracle service it's not like you have evil people that's not what we're saying it's a spirit you don't stop by counseling mama there is a spirit of death over your family and I will pray for you. I will pray for you in the name of Jesus. Who is this? Your daughter. What's your name, my dear? Lillian. Hold on. Is this mic working? Can you add Lillian, the voice? Lillian. Lillian. What do you want God to do for you? I want God to heal you. What's wrong with you? I've been having problems with my tongue. No. 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 You had a dream. Huh? You saw a snake. You can't even remember it. And from that day, you started having serious problem with your stomach. Huh? What's wrong with you? I've, I've, I've got to test. And, 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 and they told me that it's a, a liver problem. Liver problem? Yes, because I look at you and you would think you are pregnant. But you are not pregnant. Your stomach is swelling up. Mama, is that true? How long has it been? It's, it's out of three years now. Look at, look at, look at evil and wickedness. Are you married? Because you see now, assuming a brother has been trusting God to marry this sister, do you think the brother will marry her? Please help me. Do you think he will marry her? You look at her now and you think she's five or six months pregnant, but she's not pregnant. Kai. There is a lady who has refused to come out. The power of God is going to come upon her outside. You are supposed to be part of those who will be delivered here. I'm seeing the angel of the Lord outside. That lady, you were a sincere lady. But I, I don't know if it's um, another lady. I don't want to say what I'm seeing, not to embarrass you. Because the, what you were introduced to is not only smoking this. There are other things that I see that I may not be able to talk about. I'm asking you to come out. God wants you to be free for the sake of your family. The power of God is going to come upon you outside. Outside. To be free of this thing. My dear, look at me. This is koinonia. The Lord is going to set you free. You believe in miracles? Mama, you believe in miracles? I have to pray for you. Money runs away from you. Huh? Madam, I will pray for you. Mama? Yamuke. You hear how, sir? Okay. This is your daughter. Please be comfortable. Whatever language you can speak, there is an interpreter here. Nobody says you must be able to speak English or whatever. Any language, please. If I call you here or you stand here for healing, don't be under any pressure 
to say you must whatever language is comfortable speak it if i don't understand we'll find somebody to interpret please don't put yourself under pressure and say no we are excellent people but we are not fools we can't put anyone under pressure hallelujah mommy i want to pray for you because i'm seeing the lord bringing restoration to your life this is what i am seeing and the lord is asking me to pray for you can i pray for you man i will pray for you ah. i have to pray i'm seeing not you but i'm seeing somebody close to you having an accident traveling to abuja and having an accident we have to pray i'm not saying it will happen once god reveals it is broken lord jesus stretch your hands and let's pray for this mommy you don't have to know her please stretch your hands and pray lord we avert death we avert death now in the name of jesus christ we avert death by the power of the holy ghost mama is there a name like gracilda is it gracilda or gracilda gracilda or gracilda something like that gracilda gracilda something like that if that sounds like your name i'm sorry if i don't mention it well the lord kept mentioning it in my ears gracilda or gracilda something like that if that is your name please come on eh jacinta no but come where are you coming from zaria zaria i have to pray for you there's a gentleman who will destroy you be free now from every influence hold my hand anybody that is not designed by god i separate you and him forever say amen in jesus name gracilda gracilda i'm hearing gracilda something Hilda. please if it's not you no problem but that's what i'm hearing mama let's pray in the name of jesus christ i pray for you by the power of the holy spirit new beginning for you hold up please in the name of jesus christ my dear lay your hands on your stomach Kai. lord jesus you gathered people here tonight to set them free i cause the spirit responsible for this i decree and declare that this stomach will shrink every devil will go away in the name of jesus christ if you agree with me say amen, amen. look at me and you will never be barren in your life amen. say amen there are two ladies you are inside here there is an embargo of barrenness on your family fire is coming on those two ladies now to break that embargo you don't even know it's in your family it may not be in your life but i'm seeing it right now the angel of the lord is locating two ladies right now and is breaking that embargo thank you father i put the word of god upon this prophetic word that embargo is broken right now right now right now two ladies two ladies there's no reason why you should come here and your life should be the same mama i will pray for you this is your daughter do you know that god is going to use this girl god will use your daughter for his glory hold my hands my dear there's more girl now but god will use you in the name of jesus christ i anoint you mama i decree and declare let hardship live your life in the name of jesus christ let hardship live your life in the name of jesus hold on i'm seeing a wind and the lord is asking me to follow it this is somebody's deliverance here this is somebody's deliverance here this is somebody's deliverance here this is somebody's deliverance the power of god is coming upon a few people as i'm walking across this place this is somebody's deliverance this is somebody's deliverance lord set them free right now right now right now i'm seeing something rolling around this robe this robe this robe 
this row shala sobaria taska bandabria legetege bashara toska bredia there's no hiding there's no hiding someone in this row someone in this row someone in this row hardship over your family is being broken right now i'm stretching my hands this row right there father locate that person right now right now right now right now right now in the name of jesus christ mama come i want you to rejoice look at me the lord hold on the lord is saying i should tell you that where you have been crying you will begin to laugh you have been crying for 30 years and the lord is saying your breakthrough has come in the name of the lord jesus christ this sheet for me come madam hold my hands the lord is there and she tell you it's your season of laughter in the name of jesus christ your season of laughter your season of laughter look at me lose her hands now lose her hands now lose her hands now in the name of jesus christ let her hands be loose your hands are tied i lose your hands in the realm of the spirit in the name of jesus christ open doors open doors open doors open doors open doors that's what the lord is saying open doors the lord has said you have waited too long it's time for the door of your destiny to be open open doors come there is a spirit in your life that makes bad boys look for you hold my hands leave her now out out when bad boys see you they can't leave you as they are passing they see you that spirit calls them back i don't know who this girl is you are a small girl but the things you know are what you have done out now in the name of jesus you have gone to places you should not go you have you have the phone numbers of people that if we know now i'm not saying you're a bad girl it's a spirit including married men they will be minding their business that spirit will call them to you i command that devil to leave you now leave you now in the name of jesus christ i want us to pray for this gentleman before we pray for the sick you see let me tell you something addiction is a very wicked spirit don't look at them especially our dear sisters my brother what happened to you eh? gone short gone short yes, who shot you i'm a soldier i was shot by my colleague you are meduguri yes sir no he wanted to kill you eh? yes. but he didn't kill you he was directed to kill you Hi. you are a soldier how long has this been it's going to seven months now seven months which where did they shoot your legs and you can't walk with it look at me you believe in miracles lift your crutch lift it lift it come come lift your legs go ahead you're a soldier lift your legs look at this come on koinonia look at this lift your crotch up look at this look at this look at this walk as fast as you can don't be afraid turn around turn around come because your wound is not healing there is a wound but there is not healing from today i pray for you in the name of jesus christ the lord who has perfected this leg will also perfect you where are you now you are in zaria you are still in the force yes you are still in the force huh? yes sir i want to pray for you do you believe god can favor yes sir i have to pray for you god is going to connect you with a senior person and he will lift you huh? look at me brothers and sisters i want to break this addiction from your life now are we together you are very sincere people some of you were initiated into this thing by bad friends 
some of you were initiated into these things by spirit i'm going to lay my hands on you while the congregation whether your child is here or not whether your brother is here or not as you are praying you are sowing a seed for your own home are you hearing what i'm saying stretch your hands don't look at anybody's face and run your mouth on any it's none of your business koinonia is a, it's like a hospital stretch your hands i will lay my hands on every one of them please all of you should pray i want to break addiction from your life don't feel condemned jesus will help you it must be broken right now broken right now broken right now any kind of addiction out out now out out in the name of jesus out look at this guy out break from his life now in the mighty name of jesus christ be set free be set free as soon as i lay my hands on you continue praying be set free addiction break break in the name of jesus hold my hands darling no addiction for liquor no addiction for drugs something is leaving you i'm seeing something like an arrow coming out of your head out of her life now in the name of jesus i break that addiction hey jimmy come the lord is saying you should pray for this guy he will pray for you this guy needs serious prayer just lay your hands on him in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of jesus out out now i command that devil this is somebody that loves god but this addiction must be broken right now i break it right now i break it right now hold my hands you're a nice lady but we have to break this thing lord please for your mercy let it be broken in her life in the name of jesus christ 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 hallelujah the lord is asking me to minister to somebody i'm seeing a very interesting case you love god please don't be ashamed there is a particular pain reliever you are addicted to who is that person i want to pray for you now whether you are sick or not come and stand here particular pain reliever you can't help it you can wake up 1 a.m in the night and swallow it it's a spirit pain reliever i'm not saying you are sick and they gave you in the hospital god is visiting addictions this night quickly come don't sit back and say i'm all right allow god set you free let them come look at this pain i don't know what it is but i hear my spirit pain reliever whether you are sick whether you are fine the urge will hook you and you have to go and get it if you you can prefer to take it than to eat food it must go right now that's why god put this meeting to help people there's one of you fire is coming on you now after that fire comes on you then i'll pray for the rest that's the instruction god is giving me one of you fire literal fire is coming upon you from heaven as i lay my hands upon you that addiction breaks right now stretch your hands and pray for them don't feel embarrassed broken now broken now broken now in the name of jesus addiction broken now broken now by the power of the holy ghost broken now broken right now by the power of the holy ghost broken now 
broken now if they are for prayers just move them forward broken now in the name of Jesus broken now in the name of Jesus broken now in the name of Jesus it's broken now in the name of Jesus broken in the name of Jesus place your hand on your stomach God is not only setting you free he's setting you free from something else let her go now in the name of Jesus Christ addiction broken now addiction broken now by the power of the Holy Ghost addiction is broken now in the name of Jesus Christ broken now hold my hands let her go in the name of Jesus Christ there is a spirit that wants to destroy your life I command now there's no hiding place for you by the power of the Holy Spirit you must be set free you are standing in for somebody no problem in the name of Jesus Christ supernatural freedom hallelujah praise the Lord now praise the Lord please accept you are nursing a child or doing something let's all rise those outside they are still praying for you no problem all other people please stand up rise up I want us to pray if you are yet to submit your prayer request please do it quickly the Bible says unto him that answers prayers shall all flesh come in one minute God can turn your life around everyone stretch your hands here and pray I'm going to lay hands on the request pray passionately from the depth of your heart Lord I will not have to write this again pray I've written it the Bible says after two days please if there are still people coming bring it quickly it says after two days he will revive us and on the third day he will raise us up online here please pray I'm laying my hands on this request and we're asking the God of heaven visit men and women are you praying now pray in the next one minute i like you to pray blast in tongues and say lord this is the last of the prayer request that i'm having to write concerning this issue hallelujah agree with me with a loud amen in the name of jesus christ I decree and I declare over every request gathered from this nation and from the nations of the earth online and here in our local environment Jesus I present to you impossible situations according to men and I ask you turn it around now turn it around now Turn it around now. Let every breakthrough request here be turned into a testimony now. Every case here said by men to be impossible, we, we collide that case with the power of God and we produce testimonies now. Whoever must die for this prayer to be answered dies now. Whoever must live for this prayer to be answered lives now. Whoever must rise for this prayer to be answered rises now. Whoever must go down for this prayer to be answered goes down now. Whoever must hear God for this prayer to be answered, hears God now. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus 
may your people not have to write this again agree with me may your people not have to write this again lord i pray that before miracle service april let every request here be turned into a testimony may the fire and the anointing of the holy ghost that makes all the difference let it rest on this request the same way fire fell from heaven to consume the sacrifice of elijah may fire fall on this now it has been prayed for you will not write it again it has been prayed for you will not write it again in the name of jesus christ hallelujah please lift up your hands everyone hallelujah listen we're in a very strange season of the manifestation first of the spirit of revelation listen carefully there is a very spectacular outpouring god wants to upgrade the work of his people to access the mysteries of the kingdom not just to know him god wants to equip us with mysteries are we together number two there is a strange outpouring of the supernatural power of god for performance for performance not just that you had god and it never happens not just that you speak and it never happens number three this is personal to us as a family of faith god has declared that is our year of triumph i want you to believe this word oh believe it otherwise you will sit down and you will watch people rise from nothing and then you will keep clapping i'd like you to insist we still have a few minutes for this meeting to be done tonight insist that if you have never stood upon this altar to testify make up your mind and say no god i must stand before your people are you hearing what i'm saying as i speak over your life now among the many things i want to speak right now i want to activate upon your life the grace and the unction for performance many of you may not know what this anointing is listen carefully lift your hands he said who has ever heard that a city was built in one day but as soon as zion travels there is a grace that is coming upon the people of god hear me for performance he said blessed is she that believes for unto her not unto them mm -mm, mm -mm. this is not a corporate thing unto her there shall be there are many things god has said that has not come to pass there is a grace that engenders performance i prophesy to you now in the name of the lord god who called me and sent me may that unction that will make results appear speedily let it come upon you like fire now let it come upon you like fire now receive it now is yours receive it now is yours receive it now is yours performance 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 shake it la bata la prete get a soto ropa shiata grace for performance everything hanging in the realm of the spirit that is already your portion released by god i decree within the next 30 days it appears physically now i prophesy the spirit of the lord is upon me i speak within the next 30 days it manifests in the name of jesus
whatever has slowed down your pace in life so that you are not moving at the pace designed by god i put fire upon your feet and i command speed now i put fire upon your feet i command strength speed strength speed strength speed anything that has not yet worked in your life i don't know why but i'm prophesying i'm speaking to it start working now many of you don't understand what i'm doing to you start working now i don't know what projects you are currently on that has refused to produce i force it to bear fruit now I force it to bear fruit now. Hear me. The Lord spoke to my spirit and told me that the month of April for Koinonia, you may not believe it, but for Koinonia and everyone connected to this grace, the Lord said we will see a strange dimension of wealth and manifestation write this down brothers and sisters is the word of the lord i think i was telling you yesterday that the lord told me this you will see people that know nothing about money rise in a way that they themselves are asking what happened listen except the lord has not sent me i declare you must be part of the testifiers don't say i'm too small receive it don't be foolish in the name of jesus you must be a participant listen i tell you brothers and sisters please write this down you will see a strange rising rising write this down you will say i said it nothing to some i mean mysteriously people will have to ask what is happening it is a grace there is a grace that makes it happen i'm not talking of business i'm talking about the suffering word of god upon the life of a man may it be your portion in the name of jesus i decree upon you the kind of favor that will make even your enemies to say there is God in your life I release that dimension of favor now listen you can't rise in this kingdom without the favor of God you will struggle for nothing please hear me I prophesy it again whoever is lacking favor on his life I decree from this night carry favor inside outside everywhere online carry favor let me prophesy over finances whatever makes money run away from you don't say i'm talking about money you need it for what is coming in ahead whatever makes finances run from you whatever dug a hole in your life that makes you suffer in misery and penury i turn it around now i turn it around now i pray for every student here the kind of results you have never seen i release it to you now i release it by the spirit i release it from the spirit in the name of jesus christ
anyone due for promotion here or anyone's family member rightfully due for promotion and either because of religious sentiments or because of ethno tribal sentiments they have trampled upon you i decree and declare may the angel of god responsible for lifting visit your destiny and ensure that your promotion must manifest i pray for your loved ones i pray for you whoever is called jobless here before next miracle service get something doing now i prophesy it again whoever is called jobless before next miracle service i don't know how it will happen but get a good job there are people here trusting god for direction very clear direction for the next level of their lives could be maritally could be geographic location whatever it is hear god in this season like never before hear god in this season like never before lift your hands i release upon you the grace for supernatural miracles receive it right now receive it right now sapoto so bring it here receive it right now from tonight i declare whoever you speak over and command their destinies to open may my god honor it i said may my god honor it whoever fights you goes down immediately whoever fights you goes down immediately hear me whoever mocks your passion for god goes down immediately whoever has said over his dead body for you to rise may his prayer be answered whoever has said over his dead body for you to rise in koinonia tonight may their prayers be answered every embargo of bad luck upon your face that makes your helpers look at you and turn aside i tear that veil completely in the name of jesus favor like never before testimonies like never before koinonia is the place of the anointing koinonia is the place of unction i pray for you a new a fresh grace and anointing let it rest upon you like the dew of heaven begin to flow very effortlessly in the gifts of the spirit i'm praying it again begin to flow very effortlessly in the gifts of the spirit begin to flow effortlessly in the gifts of the spirit the mantle of honor that god has put upon my life god has put upon this ministry you are part of this vision you are under this grace there's no reason why it should not work in your life i command it to start speaking now no more dishonor in your life no more dishonor in your life hear me for those who have been trying certain things for a long time whether it's exams whether it's admission whatever you have been doing again business i don't care i don't know where the embargo came from but i break it right now from today any man that looks upon you may god cause them to bless you whatever has killed your prayer life this night i release upon you the spirit of prayer and supplication 
Listen. See, let me tell you something. Don't ever let people. There are people who are under such passion for new things. The system of the kingdom is dynamic, but the foundations of the things that make men grow are the same. Prayer, the word, corporate fellowship, obedience. If you leave any of these things and you say you are looking for power or looking for anointing, it's a joke. You will never find it. One more time, I restore your prayer life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know what killed your passion for the word your passion for bible study your passion for devotion your passion for the things of god but i command the restoration this night i don't know what took away your passion for the house of god but in the name of jesus may a love for the house of god like never before come upon you in the name of jesus the grace God released to bring the word triumph to come to pass in this ministry may that grace speak over you I speak over your life it is your year of triumph therefore whatever has mocked God in your life I command that in as you enter April from tomorrow you triumph over it hallelujah as you enter april it will not be april full it will be april wise it will be april breakthrough it will be april miracles it will be april speed agree with me again i'm praying with you between now and miracle service april please hear me results together with tears in your eyes for joy you will return with them results together with tears of joy in your eyes wave your hands and give jesus all the praise wave your hands and give jesus praise thank you lord for performance thank you lord for performance in the name of jesus christ hello beloved in christ this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share it to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin